Okay, I'm just going to give it a little bit. Anybody watching on replay, I'm going to give it a little bit um, so uh, people can join the chat. I actually did not have time to share it. Well, it's not that I didn't have time to share it and post it. It's that my phone is in the middle of downloading right now, so I actually can't. <sighs> so I'm going to give it just a little bit of time for people to hop on. I may go through and, like, delete this, maybe. Just the part where I'm waiting for people to hop on. Hey, GH girl. Hey, Destiny. Hey, 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 everyone. Oh, I need to move that over. Let me move this over. Y'all, let me tell y'all what I've been doing. Um, Y'all know I've been working on this Anne Hage video forever, y'all. Listen, every waking second that I've had where I was not like, even at the kids' football practice, rather than like sitting there and watching, I was like editing, 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 editing. I worked some of the weekends. I worked till like 1.30 in the morning, several, my hair is messed up in the back several like days like there was one day I did no work at all on YouTube I think it was like Monday and I just worked strictly on uh, my Anne Hage video and uh, I got it done but the thing was was I may have to redo some because I got like a lot of it done I got it all done and I saved it and then I needed to just go through and make like some edits to the pictures so basically I had the whole video done and you have these like options to add like certain things like like a thunder or like smoke or like to make it look like you're recording. So I wanted to go through and add some of these things to it. Um, but I so I, I saved the video after I got it all done, I saved it. And then I was gonna go through and put those edits. But rather than going back and take that video that I just saved and put put it into the editing software and adding it and then adding the edits on that I, 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 for, I actually did not do that I went to the other video that I had just downloaded so like I, I was like halfway through adding these edits to this 35 minute video when I saw that this was not the new like complete video this was like the other video then I was like Ah, and let me tell you guys, I was like halfway through it, but just to get like 15 minutes into editing had taken me like two hours because my phone was being slow, so slow on, like I would hit a button to see what that editing thing did. And it would take like 15 seconds for it to load to show me because my phone was being like super slow. So I was like, oh, when I realized that I was editing, adding these edits to not the, the newest copy of the video, but the older one, I was like, so I just went with it. I just, I was like, this is the one that I'm going to use. I ran through it really quickly. Um, there was a couple of things that I would have changed. Um, I did change like two things. There was a couple of things that I, I, I wanted to change, but I really couldn't because it would mess up my, um, my voice. Like it would take out a chunk of what I was saying. So I couldn't, I wasn't seeing the chat. Um, hey, 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 can you see the chat now? Did you hear that Mike from Jersey Shore is starting the fight again and it caused another blow with Jenny and Angela? I have not. I need to catch up on, um, I need to catch up on Jersey Shore because I'm so behind. Y'all, hold on. I gotta go turn my air on because I'm hot. Hold on. Um, well, not turn my air on, but just turn it down because I'm hot. So anyways, I'm downloading the video to my phone. I think it's the final version. I think this is what I'm gonna upload to YouTube and I'm gonna put it for my members first. Member, channel members, Patreons, it'll be up hopefully tonight for you guys. And then tomorrow I'll switch it over to like everybody. And you guys, I, I bet I spent, I don't even know. I don't even know how many hours I spent on this. I could say, I, I mean, a lot, a lot of hours, like a lot. Because like I said, there was this one full day that I did it. Um, hey, Denali, there was this one full day, all day I worked on it. And I probably, I bet I spent probably eight hours that day nonstop working on it. And then every evening that I worked during the day on here, every evening, like I would, um, after I would like not be doing videos, I would be working on it till like one o'clock in the morning, almost two o'clock in the morning. And then at my boys practice, I was working on it. So it was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, what I had to do first is I had to learn this information. I had to go and read all this information about Anne Hayes. And then I had to record it. So I recorded it. Um, and it's a voiceover. So then I had to go get videos and pictures. And I try to get videos and pictures that kind of make sense and go along with what I'm saying in the moment of the video. I have over um, 
I counted the other night, but I stopped at 50. I have over 50 videos in my phone right now of Anne Hage, like 50 different videos. I watched several of her movies um, to get clips out of the movies. Watch it say that my phone can't download it. It's probably going to be like, your phone is full. When my phone gets full, it'll download to 99%, and then it'll pop up and say, your phone is full. You need to delete stuff. Let's hope it doesn't do that. Please don't. Please don't. It didn't. Thank you, guys. Yay, Destiny! It fixed it. Yay! Um, Jersey Shore is crazy. It's been awesome. I gotta get caught up on that, you guys. I'm telling y'all, I've had no extra time for anything. Like, um, obviously, with it being the weekend, like, okay, one of my one of my boys woke up with a stomach bug. Literally, I wake up to hearing him, and I'm like, y'all, since school started, every one of my kids has been sick. Every one of my kids has been sick since school started. Paris got COVID. Um, she stayed in quarantine. Um, so Caden was the first to get sick and they said it was like a sinus infection, but then Bobby got the exact same thing that Caden had and they share a room. So I was like, I don't think that's a sinus infection. I'm like, I think that's like, uh, it, it seemed like they had a croup really. That's kind of what it sounded like. So they missed school. Uh, and when I thought Bobby was better, I sent him, I was like, I think he's better. So I sent him to school and they called me and they're like, no, is my shirt on backwards? Oh, for a second, it looked like it. They're like, no, he's not better. You got to go get him. So then I had to go get him from school. And they were like, yeah, he can't come tomorrow either. Like with the, the cough that he's got going on, like he don't need to come tomorrow. So Bobby missed a whole week of school. And I cannot stand my kids missing school because they're really funny about it. Like want to send you to truancy court and all kind of crazy stuff, you know. So I was like, oh, dear Jesus, no, 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 no. Um, and then like the makeup work that they have to do, I just feel like it puts them really behind. So Caden missed two days. I think this was the second week of school. Katie missed two days. Bobby missed all week. And then Paris got sick. And Paris called, like, left early one day and didn't go the next day. And then Eli got sick. Dakota had a dentist appointment Monday, I think it was. And then Thursday, he was sick. So he didn't go to school. Oh, oh my God, that was funny. Also, the and Minnie kept saying, can we just go to the pool party? That I need to watch it. I need to catch up on that. I really do. I need to catch. I need to um, watch. Um, hmm. I, I need to watch. Yeah, that, my kids kind of like school. I mean, they don't really like missing too much. So, um, I think Paris is the only one that don't really like school. <laughs> Caden loves school because, like, he loves doing football. Um, so, they all pretty much like school. But anyway, so, um, this morning we did not go to church because uh, Bobby was sick. Um, but I still wanted to go see my grandma because I told you guys that my uncle passed away. And she's been having a really tough time with that. So, I went and saw my granny. Just me and Kennedy and Coco did. Um, I left the ones that wasn't feeling well here with Sean. And uh, my granny lives in the country, like the country country where you have no service. Like you have a little bit of service out on the porch where like you can get your messages, but like you can't. Like we were trying to look something up on TikTok today and like we just couldn't get it to work. Um, but y'all, I'm behind on emails. If you have emailed me, I'm sorry. Actually, a while ago, when I was uh, downloading the video the first time, I was, like, responding to emails, like, trying to get back to some people. I actually am in the middle of responding to... Y'all, this is so cool. But there is this company called Tri Treats, and they have international snack subscriptions. So what they do is they send you international food. I, so, Sean has been wanting to try this. That's the weird thing. Is when Sean went to went and visited his brother last in Texas, they had this. His brother had a subscription to inter, an international snack box. And Sean, like, tried some of it. And his brother, like, told him about, like, oh, yeah, well, this is what we get. Like, the kids really like it. It's different every month. And Sean came home, like, telling me about it. He was like, it's so cool because, like, the food is, like, from different, like, countries every time or something like that. So, he's like, we need to try it. And I never have, I never have, I never have, even though, like, we kind of want it to. Um, and then I got an email. Let me see. Let me tell you guys when I got this email. I got it three days ago. And I read it the day that I got it, but but I did not have time to respond because I've just been so, like, all of my time and energy and extra anything has went into this Anne Hage video. So, I didn't respond, but I was like, I need to make sure I respond to that. So, I did. Actually, I didn't. I'm in the middle of responding. 
this is how much I got. This is how much I got. Hello, Roger. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. I'm happy that you enjoy my content. I would love to try some international snacks. That's it. I was typing it up when I was downloading the video all ago. Um, so, you know. But we're going to, um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely want to try that. There's videos out there where people do try it. Um, so I'm going to try it. I just don't know how I would incorporate it into a video. Like, I don't know if I would need to do a whole video about it or like a, a 10 minute clip into like a video about something different. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to upload this video. I love a mama's boy. It's crazy. I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, I've seen that. It's where like, um, women get into relationships with men that are extreme mama mama's boys and like they like overstep their bounds um in the relationship no i'm not selecting that i'm not selecting that what is going on with this thumb at mine um hey y'all welcome yeah, back to my it. channel if you're new here <sighs> okay hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm just gonna tell right now and set it for unlisted and we'll i need to figure out a title it's like a little documentary into her personal life so i'm just gonna go ahead and set it for upload and it may it may take 20 hours to upload i don't know so i have seen that um but I, i'm not too familiar with it i mean i am a little bit but i haven't like watched it watched it but i know what you're talking about um oh sherry um, have you heard anything from them about what's happening with it? So this is a fake tattoo, but I've been trying to get it off because it's like faded so bad. Um, I'll try again tonight or in the morning and tomorrow we'll do another one. Tomorrow we'll do another one. Do you watch Hog Dynasty? I used to watch Duck Dynasty. What's Hog Dynasty? But I want to show you guys, I want to do an unboxing and then I got, the, I'm going to do an unboxing and then I'm going to, I got a little, there's something that's bothering me and I'm going to talk about it. I was kind of thinking I wouldn't talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it because it's my channel and I'm going to talk about it. Woo. Where are you going, GH girl? Did you say bye? Bye, good night. Hey, Denisa. So. Hey, Cheryl. Oil takes it off. Maybe it's hog royalty. Huh. Yeah. Did you ever see Bayou Billionaire way back in the day on like VH1? I think it was Bayou Billionaire. It was about a family. They had a lot of land, and they kind of struck it rich because their land had oil on it. So they would they they would get what was called mailbox money, and they would get a check every month from their um their uh, the the oil field, not the oil field. I can't think. So they would get money every month from the um hey hey hey. They would get oil uh they would get money every month from the oil rigs being on their land and they started a show over it it's called mailbox money you know honey badger it's called Mail mailbox money yes well i i'm from the same place that they're from but well not not super close well kind of like i go by their house all the time like right where they live i did michelle and i'm actually in the middle of responding to emails so I just got done with my Anne Hage video and it was downloaded a while ago. I was responding to emails, but I'm so far back. I'm at three days ago right now. Um, I'm actually, I was in the middle of responding to a guy that is messaging me about a, a, a subscription box that um, he wants me to have on my channel. Um, I think I, I know I responded to Denisa. I responded to Lori. I responded to um, Amanda, um, but I'm kind of going down. You're next, Michelle, I think. I'm pretty sure you're next. But I'm at three days ago right now responding to emails because I literally, like, was not really responding. Um, thank you, Doobie. Um, but, yes, they have mailbox money. And what it was was every month they would get a check for the rigs on their land. And I remember one time it showed it, and the check was, like, $63,000. 
and they were basically talking about how every month it is a super large amount of money that they get to the point to where they are billionaires essentially it, it's been like that that way for a few years like the the rigs have been on their land for a few years at this point so now it's to the point where they are billionaires and they so the man and his wife they owned um a construction company and flossie's baby daddy bubba actually worked for them um years ago before they become famous he actually worked for their construction company um now their daughter do you guys remember the daughter valerie someone actually tried to hook my dad up with valerie um because uh a, one of my dad's friends knew her my dad was single and he was like I, you know i know this woman um and it was valerie so they talked a little bit through messages but they never dated and then valerie actually I don't remember why they quit talking, but they quit talking. Valerie started dating someone, and then she was killed a couple years ago. Um, at like uh, she was like at Burger King, and she was in this relationship that was um, uh, abusive, and the guy shot her at, in Burger King parking lot, and she died. Um, let's see if I have any more stuff. Hey, hey, Ska. If anyone's positive vibes. Please send her away. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's going to be difficult. I'm so sorry. Definitely sending you good thoughts, positive vibes, and you got this. You got it. Um, I don't, oh, I met them, though, and I have pictures on my Facebook, I think, of when I met them. Um, they came to, so because I'm not that far from where they live, they came to, um, our town for a festival and they were in the parade they were actually in the parade they rode on this little float and i took pictures with them and um um when you pass by their house there's this gigantic mailbox it's literally huge it's like the size of like it's huge like you you can't walk up to it and open it you know what i'm saying because it's like huge like the, it probably stands like 20 foot tall or something like that and it's just gigantic um, so that's how, like, you can, you know, that's where they live because it's a huge mailbox. Um, but it's definitely turned sad because Valerie was a very, uh, beautiful woman. She, and she had MS, I think it was, and she got killed. It was sad. Very sad. Um, I'll show you guys, guys pictures. So sad. So this is her, and she had MS or something. I don't remember. So she kind of like um. Her walk was a little bit different. I think it was MS that she had. But, um. Let's read. Let's see. She was shot multiple times as she sat in her car. near. Oh, it was McDonald's, not Burger King. Um, she was killed by a robber called Gaddy, who then turned the gun on himself. They were both taken to a local hospital where she was pronounced dead and he later died. Um. We know they had a relationship of some sort, but I can't tell you if they had, if they were friends, having a dispute, or formally intimate. We simply don't know at the moment. We have some guesses, but we like to we like to back that up with hard facts. Gaddy is a man's well new from high school who she recently started dating. Brian Flanagan, by you billionaires, executive producer, tells People. Kitty Dowden, Wells' mother, texts Flanagan um, with the news today. It's a complete heartbreak, he says, and her family is not doing well. Kitten and Gerald Dowden. Um, who starred in the show wrote their daughter's death wrote of the daughter's death on Facebook Tuesday morning. This is really hard for us and her children. It is out of order. No parents should have to go through this. Yeah. Wells had pulled her car up to an area near the McDonald's parking lot at about 4 p.m. and shortly after that, Gaddy walked up to a side of her vehicle before shooting her several times. It aired on CMT, focused on the Shreveport-based Dallin family rags to riches story after they discovered their home set on a large deposit of natural gas. Wells was a single mother of three. 
She worked at the at the public defender's office in Mansfield, Louisiana. She was a sweetheart. She suffered MS, but um, she was incredibly strong. She was ill for a long time, but worked through it. She always had a smile on her face. She was sunshine walking into her room and a cook. And uh, it's incredibly sad news. Her funeral. Yeah, so I have pictures with her on my Facebook, I do believe. Um, I'll have to look for them. Yay. Well, you know what? I was like, and when I get that Anne Hayes video done, I'm doing a live. Because I feel like all of my energy has been just been put into there. Me and Wildflower Tea, we're going to do another video. Um, we're going to do a stream Tuesday together. And that reminds me, I have not responded to her either. <laughs> ah! I got to message her back as well. Um, so I got to respond to her because we're working on doing something Tuesday. Let's see. that's downloading let's delete that one okay so i want to do that is true too many women lose their lives in the hands of the boyfriend or an ex that's so true um so i'm gonna do an unboxing because i got several things here i want to show you guys but first i, I gotta tell you something i gotta tell you guys something kind of crazy okay so you guys know um i had been asked before to make an amazon wish list and i really didn't know how to do it and i was like uh like i don't know i feel like maybe People might attack me for it. Like, other creators like to say things about creators. I think it's on my Facebook I have the picture. Yeah, I think I have the picture on my Facebook. Um, I'll have to go and check it. Maybe my old Facebook, but I'll look. Um, so, I, when I was going on Molly's channel a good bit, I was asked, like, uh, and that's a good thing for Molly, I think. Um, hey Erica, that's like a thing for Molly is that like she has her Amazon wish list and people send her things and then she does like unboxings and people really enjoy it. So I was asked several times like, hey, get an Amazon wish list. Like more on when I was on Molly's channel than I've been asked in my entire time on YouTube. So I was like, okay, I'll get an Amazon wish list. Like that'll be cool. So I made one, um, put several things on there. Um, like two more times I went back and like added things to it, you know? Um, so Apparently, I accidentally added a whiteboard, like, um, you know, like a, a board like this big. It comes with a black marker. I, I accidentally added it. I did not know um, that I had added it on there. So let me tell you guys, I do schedule lives, but usually when I schedule them, Tyler Simple Home. Um, is that Tyler, Tyler? Is that Tyler from Team Mom? Um, I usually schedule them like 20 minutes in advance because I'm so like, eh, you know, I don't ever know. So I added this whiteboard on accident. I didn't even know that I did, right? Um, so one day a package comes. One day last week a package comes, and it's really big. I'll show you guys the box. Hold on. This is a box. Like, it's big. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, dang, what is that, Sean? And sometimes Sean's mom... We'll have things sent to our house. Um, so when Sean brings that in my office, when Sean brings it into my office, I'm like, oh, um, I'm like, I don't know what that is because uh, I swear I have a different platform on every, I swear. Um, is that who you are though? Is that, are you that one? Um, oh, okay, okay. Yes, that is, that's who you are. Okay. Um, you guys go follow, um, follow Tyler on TikTok because he needs to get his following up on TikTok so we can we can uh, battle. Um, I think that, didn't you say you would battle me if you got your following up? Um, so anyways, I get this big box. Sean brings it into the office, and I'm like, I don't know what that is. And um, I open it, right? And it's a whiteboard. And I'm like, I'm like, huh, this must be your mom's. Because like I said, so his mom, thank you, Elizabeth, Sean's mom homeschools our, homeschooled our daughter, Kennedy, who is five. And she has a whole classroom at her house. Like, her office has been turned into a classroom. And because she is um, homeschooling Kennedy, like, we bought a lot of the supplies that was needed, right? But what we did was I just gave her my debit card number and was like, yeah, so we can spill the tea on there. Exactly, Tyler. So, Tyler, um, can you post what you're on on TikTok? So I can like 
I can um, pin it, and then people can go follow you. So anyways, um, I gave her my debit card information. I'm like, just when you need something for Kennedy School, just let me know. Let me know how much it is, and, you know, that way I know, you know. Um, so she's gotten several things, and then one time, well, actually, there was like twice where it was accidentally shipped to my house and not her house. So when I got this big box in and I saw that it was a whiteboard, I was like, oh, this must be something that Miss Francis ordered that accidentally come to our house. Like, oh, no big deal. I'll just, you know, bring it to her um, tomorrow whenever we bring Kennedy to school. So we bring Kennedy to school the next day and I, and I have it. And I'm like, hey, Miss Francis, uh, your whiteboard came in. And she was like, I ordered a whiteboard? And I'm like, I mean, I assumed it was you. She was like, I needed to, but I don't think I ever did. And I was like, huh? She was like, well, I have that one back there, but it's not mine. Someone let me borrow it. But as you can see, it's got like permanent marker on it. So I was going to buy another one. Like it was like on my agenda, I needed to get a new whiteboard for her. I'm like, are you sure? Maybe you didn't. <laughs> I'm like, maybe you should check your Amazon because maybe you did, you know, like maybe you accidentally like maybe you got it you just forgot like is that possible and she's like well let me check so i'm like over at her house holding the whiteboard you know and she's like no i didn't i'm like are you I'm like are you positive and then sean's like well maybe one of your viewers sent it and he's like is it on your um wish list and i'm like no i'm like i didn't put it on my wish list and he's like are you sure i'm like i'm pretty positive and uh thank you so much Thank you. Thank you, Michelle, because uh, what's so crazy is it was needed. It was literally like this weird, it was like the universe, like, put it on there for me because my mother, my mother-in-law needed it for Kennedy, for her school. So when she's like, no, I didn't get it. Sean's like, do you think one of your viewers did it? And I'm like, he's like, do you think it's on your wish list? And I'm like, it's not on my wish list. I'm like, I know that it's not. And um, I'm like, well, and she's like, Miss Francis is like, but if you want to let me keep it here, you know, um, so I can use it for her. I'm like, well, yeah, 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 of course. You know, I'm like, because in my mind, I'm like, she ordered it, but she forgot. <laughs> I'm like, she ordered it somehow. She forgot, you know. I was just like convinced that she did. Um, so we get back home and Sean's like, check your wish list. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm telling you, Sean, I did not put it on my wish list. So I go and the first thing that is on my wish list is the whiteboard. And I'm like that is wild that it's on my wish list because i'm like i don't know how that happened but thank you so much michelle that was so awesome so i don't have i don't have the whiteboard here because we brought it to my mother-in-law's thinking that she ordered it but it's it, it literally thank you so much because now we have a brand new whiteboard and then after school is over this year obviously we're going to bring it back to the house and we'll be able to use it for the kids and right now that's because she had one that was given to her, but it was like an older one that had like a few marks on it, like permanent mark, like marker or whatever. So thank you so much. That was awesome that you did that. And it was literally like somehow that just happened because she was like, I needed to. I was like, I was going to, but I'm positive I didn't. And I'm like, if you meant to, or if you had intentions on it, Something's telling me you did. You just forgot. <laughs> uh, but no, I come home and sure enough, it was on my wish list. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's crazy how that worked out. Yes. Yeah. Crazy how it worked out. Um, but I uh, could tell you use a whiteboard, like a March Madness bracket and rank how the team mom girls are doing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yep. I actually see there's somebody on TikTok that has like a whiteboard in the back and they, I don't know much about TikTok, but they are writing their like something on there, you know, like they're whatever they need or something. I don't remember. So I got to figure out where these pictures are of me with the Bayou Billionaires because I know I have them somewhere. But I'm not finding them. Not finding them. Um, so anyways, I got this and it's on a hanger because I actually wore it. <laughs> I already wore it. I, I wore it on here Friday, I think it was. So this was on my wish list. It's a cute little shirt that ties at the bottom. And, um, I just saw it on Amazon and I was like, yeah, because I feel like I have worn the same shirts like a million times on my channel since I'm live. Like I, I like go live all the time and I used to pre-record all the time. And I tell Sean all the time, I'm like, I feel like I wear the same clothes over and over and over and over and over. 
So he's always like, well, go buy you more clothes. And I'm like, all right, yeah, I will. And then I never do. So I was like, I'm going to put some shirts on my Amazon wish list, some really cute shirts. So I put this on there because I think that it was super, I thought it was really, really cute. And it is a work Friday and it's so cute. And me and all the girls in my family are going on a vacation in a couple of weekends. And this is like going to be perfect for the little vacation that we're going on. So thank you so much. Um, I have the, I have the gift thing because I'm keeping all the receipts that shows because I can send you guys a thank you. So that's what, that's on my to-do list. I got to send all you guys a thank you note. So thank, thank you though. Um, in case I lose your note to be able to send it. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. I love this shirt. Oh, and something I have to tell you guys. I must tell you guys. Okay, so these things, I got these things. That I put them on my Amazon wish list, you guys. And I didn't know why people sleep with these. Like, I didn't really think there was, like, any reason other than just to do it and to be kind of bougie. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm going to sleep with me a cute little mask on tonight because I'm classy and something bougie. I don't know. So I was like, these are cute. They have little, cute little sayings on it, like sleeping beauty and shut up and leave me alone and don't don't mess with me and stuff like that. So I thought these were super cute that like me and the girls in my family could wear at night to go to sleep, you know? Y'all, y'all, thank you, Mama of Three. I love the shirt. If you don't sleep with one of these on, sleep with it on. I have been sleeping with these on for like the past four nights and I'm telling you my sleep has improved so much. Like, I, I thought I was, like, crazy at first. I was, like, so I slept with it on the first night, right? After staying up to, like, 1.30 in the morning working. Um, You are the bee's knees. <laughs> the bee's knees. Thank you. Um, Here's Johnny. Why does it seem like that's, like, a thing? Here's Johnny. Who's Johnny? That would be, like, like a, um, who is he? <laughs> There's a Johnny that's, like, a co-host. Our host to a show where it's like, and here's Johnny. Um, thank you, thank you. These knees is an old saying meaning cool, but thank you so much. But anyway, so I was up working till like one o'clock in the morning. I was so exhausted, y'all. So that night I sleep with one of these on. And I wake up the next morning and I slept so good. And I'm like, like, you know, if you stay up super late, the next day, you don't feel like you slept good. Even if you slept good, you just feel like it wasn't enough. And Johnny Carson, it, maybe that's why I, that's why I, okay, that's why it's in my head. Because I just watched Johnny Carson when Ellen DeGeneres was on his, sh on his show. Um, well, thank you. Thank you, Mama. Uh, mama, Mama, um, Stephanie. Um, so I was like, maybe I just had a good night. Like, maybe I just had a good night. I don't know. So the next night, I sleep with the dawn the next morning, and I literally stayed up, like, past 1 o'clock in the morning, like, three times in a row. Right? So I was like, next night, I stayed up to like after one something, right? So I sleep with this on. Next morning, I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I slept so great. I'm like, I slept so great. What, like, is it the mask? So I look it up. Like, do you sleep better when you wear a mask? And you do. Like, it, science says that you sleep better when you wear a mask because. Like, apparently, like, even when you close your eyes, your eyelids are thin. So, like, if something's moving, if there's, like, a fan, if lights are on, even if, and if it's not pitch black, if it's not pitch black, like, you're still going to sense things due to the fact that it's, like, your, th your eyelids are just thin, you know. But if you wear one of these, it blocks it all out. Like, ceiling fans moving, um, the lights, it, you know, any little light that may be on. Or even if it's just not super, or like, you know, if you have blinds in your room and then they cut, like, um, the sun comes up, once that sun comes up, like, your sleep is going to change because, like, your eyes can, like, sense the change. You know what I'm saying? So it, like, messes with your mind. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, I'm not even lying. I told Sean, I said, Sean, like, you need to, like, we got to get you some of these. 
because his head's too big for these. I'm like, I, I'm like, we gotta get. So I actually tried to put it on it, and he's like, it's kind of too tight. I'm like, I'm gonna get you because he does not sleep good at all. So I'm like, I'm, I gotta get you some that's for the big head. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you should sleep with these. And then I went and visited my grandpa today, and he's in really bad shape. My grandpa, um, not the one that. So my grandma and my grandpa lost a son the other day. That's my maternal grandparents. And then my paternal grandparents, my grandfather's doing really, really, really bad. He's just, his health is terrible. And so, like, I went over there today because I bought him an egg crate for his bed because he got a hospital bed now in his house. And he says it's really hard. He can't sleep on it. So, when I was there last weekend, I was asking him, like, well, how's the hospital bed? And he's like, it's not good. Like, it just hurts my back so much. And I was like, I'm going to get you an egg crate. Hopefully, you know, it'll help. So, I brought him an egg crate today. And um he was telling me about how he just don't sleep well you know so i was like hopo when i come next weekend i'm bringing you a mask it might say sleeping beauty on it but i'm bringing you a mask his head's not as big as sean so i think we'll be good with just you know giving him one of these so um i am telling you guys these work if you have trouble sleeping like if you wake up easy get you a mask get you a mask i'm not even lying there get you a mask and this is what I got in my last box um, from like last week or the week before last. But I just wanted to say that because they, they, they really do help. I promise you. Uh, I'm exhausted. I will try my mask tonight. I hope it helps. Yes, Wendy. Hey, Wendy, let me know. What, anybody that tries it, let me know. Because I thought I was crazy. I was like, there's no way. There's no way that I'm really sleeping that much better. Like, it was like noticeable. I was like, I feel refreshed. I feel like I slept really good. And I'm telling y'all. It worked. And then I looked it up and it was like, yeah. Um, so when are we going, going on vacation? Let me tell you the date because I don't remember. It's coming up soon though. Um, I think it's the first weekend. No, we are going the second weekend of next month. So not this weekend, but next weekend. And it's going to be me, Flossie, my mom, my aunt, my cousin, my cousin, my cousin's wife, my sis, my other sister. There's going to be, like, almost all the females in our family that could, oh, Paris, uh, Morgan, my niece, and I, I think I'm going to do a vlog. Um, so, I was talking to some of my family members about it today. I was like, hey, we rented this super cool Airbnb. So, basically, what we did is all the, everybody pitched in, like, 100 bucks or something for the Airbnb, um, and we're going to go get massages, and we're going to go do, like, we're going to go to a bathhouse. Um, Brittany, I do with anemia as well. Now, I don't have a shunt, but I do have anemia, and that's, oh, it's not fun. Um, but we're going to leave Friday, and we're going to come back on Sunday, so it's not going to be a long one, but it'll be good. So, that's what me and my mom and Paris went and did back in 2019. You guys remember when I went on that little vacation back in 2019? Um, it's going to be the same thing. Y'all, I have 23 messages. I have 23 messages. Look at this. Oh, I'm not lying. Like, I have, like, not been, like, texting people like I normally would and, like, checking in or responding because I've just been so, yay. Um, I'm praying. For, yeah, definitely praying for you, Brittany. My nephew had a shunt. Um, okay, Chrissy, I'll try them. I, I'm behind on that, too. <laughs> I'm behind on everything. Um, but... We're leaving, and I'm going to do a vlog. I think I'm going to do a vlog. So, I talked to some of the people in my family, and Flossie's down for the vlog, obviously. My cousin is down for the vlog, and I think I'm just going to kind of show, like, us on our way, uh, us when we get there, some of the things that we do. We're going to go to this, like, famous, like, cupcake house, and um, would you guys be interested in a vlog of our little family vacation? For the, It's a female. It's, like, all women. Okay, now, on to the next thing that I got. You guys are awesome. Like, literally, Sean's like, oh, my God, I can't believe, like, people are sending you stuff. And I'm like, I know. It's wild. Um, also, if anybody lives in um, Little Rock, I think we're going to Little Rock. Hot, hot Springs. Hot Springs. We're going to Hot Springs. If anybody lives in the Hot Springs area, I'm, I might do, like, a little meet and greet situation. But I probably not because there probably might only be, like, one or nobody. You know what I'm saying? So, let me, okay, let me see who this was from. Amanda. Okay, so this one come from Amanda. 
Um, so this, I did not get it. It's fake. It's a fake tattoo. It's a sleeve, the fake sleeve. Um, it's kind of fading. I'm going to do another one Monday. We'll do it. We'll go live Monday morning and do a new, another sleeve. Girls trip. Yes, I love a girls trip. So, um, this is, um, car LED strip lights. And the reason I wanted these is because, as you guys know, I just bought a new car. And my car actually comes with lights already. On the screen, you can change the lights from, like, blue, red, pink, um, snow white to, like, it's two different, like, white. One's, like, a snow white and one's, like, something else. Um, blue, pink, uh, yellow. So, you can change the lights on the screen, right? And they light up, up kind of under your seat, above your feet, the door handles. Um, and when you open the door, like, um, where it says the brand of the car, that lights up, um, the color, right? Now, the reason why I wanted these is because I just don't think it's bright enough, the ones underneath my feet. I'm like, I wish they would light up. I wish it would light up a little bit brighter. Like, by the door handle, um, those kind of light up bright. But under my seat doesn't really bright, light up, light up that bright. Oh, you look nice. Y'all, I'm not even going to lie. A lot of people is like, you should get a sleeve. Like, ever since I did the fake one, people's like, you should get one. You could pull it off. And I'm like, so we are, we're supposed to get tattoos when we go to Arkansas. But me and my sisters have been saying for, for years that we're going to get tattoos. Um, me and Flossie, my sister Stephanie, we've all been saying we're going to get sister tattoos. Like, maybe just like, like one thing that we thought of is like, Stephanie, my oldest sister, get one heart and shade it in. And then I get two hearts and shade it in. I mean, Flossie get two hearts and shade it in. And then I get three hearts and shade it in. Um, as for, like, to represent three sisters, we're going to get something that represents three sisters. It's going to be small because my sister Stephanie is not really for tattoos. Like, this is going to be her first tattoo besides her eyeliner. Um, and she's, like, the only reason she's doing it is because... Um, we asked her to, you know, we're like, let's get something for sisters. And she's like, all right, that, that's the only way, you know. So we're going to get something small, and it's going to represent us sisters. So I got a Range Rover. That was my dream car. Shauna's always said that he was going to get me a Range Rover. So um, that's what we got. It's not brand new. It's not a brand new Range Rover. So I didn't go off spending a ton of money on a car. Um, but it is a Range Rover, and it's very nice. The people that had it last took really good care of it. Um, so, and I worked my butt off. So, I was like, I want a decent car. And as you guys know, like, um, oh, the back of my hair is killing me. Go to Red Beards for the tax. Okay, Red Beards. Do you know where the bathhouse is? Like, and it's on the same street as, um, that cupcake place that was on Cupcake Wars. I'm wanting another one here, but I'm I'm gonna be 65 in October. Not sure my grandkids would be cool with that. To hell with the grandkids. To heck with the grandkids. Go get your tattoo. <laughs> um, I have a Yukon as well. Like that's what I've had. That's what I was pulled over in. That's what I was arrested in. And I'm not gonna lie. Like a part. I honestly feel like. The police here, like, purposely know not to mess with me. Because, like, I've been with Sean before, and he'd be speeding, and we see a cop, and they, like, and I'm always like, slow down, slow down, because I'm terrified of getting pulled over. So, like, if I notice that Sean's speeding, I'm like, shut, shut, slow down, slow down. You know what I'm saying? Um, which, sometimes I'll catch myself speeding, because, like, I'll just be, like, in my own little world, and, like, I look down, and I'm like, whoa, slow down. Like, I do not need to see a cop right now, you know? Um... Okay, how close is the Red Beards to that place? So what we're doing is we're going to drive in. Most of my family is leaving Friday morning, but I'm not leaving until Friday later that day because Paris has school, my mom has work, so and then my niece has school. So me, my mom, Paris, my niece, and my sister are all riding together, and we're leaving at like 1.30, 2 o'clock Friday. Uh, but we're going to get down there Friday, and we're going to get settled. We may, um, I think we're going to go out to eat that night. And um, then the next day, we're going to go get our baths. We're going to go to the cupcake place, and we're just going to go kind of sightseeing. 
go back to the um, Airbnb. Everybody has said we're not cooking. They're like, we are not cooking at all. We will order out. We will go out to eat. We will like take out something, but everybody's like, we're not cooking. Like this is going to be a vacation where we don't cook. That way we don't have to clean up behind ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like minimum cleaning. It's all downtown on the same strip. Awesome. I do have two tattoos. I do. I, I have two tattoos. Now, Flossie is definitely one of the ones that, like, once she got a tattoo, she just kept getting more. Like, Flossie has a lot of tattoos, but she's beautiful with her tattoos. Like, she's got this big rose on her arm, and, like, she's got beautiful tattoos. I'm not the biggest fan of my first tattoo. I don't really like it. So, honestly, like, I would like to get it covered up, but... Anyway, so I got these LED lights for my car. I love, I cannot wait. Let me tell you guys, when we opened this, Sean was like taking it out. He was like, okay, yeah, I can do this. I know how to do And he's like about to go outside. And I'm like, no, 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 you can't put it in the car yet. I gotta, I gotta do the unboxing. So Sean's super excited about this as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Also got these, which I love. Um, so in my car, there's two little cup holders right behind the little ear turn thing. Um, and my push to start button actually has, um, diamonds around it. Um, I think whoever had the car before me had that put on because I, I don't think a normal Range Rover has the diamonds encrusted around it. Um, but whoever had it before did. Um, so it's got diamond encrusted around my start button. So I wanted these little cup holders to kind of match, and I just thought, wouldn't it look so cute? Like, I wanted to put them in there today, but I wanted to make sure I'd done um, uh, the unboxing for these. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love these. Um, I'm going to go put them in the car probably tonight after I get off the love. Okay. And um, also this, which is a pump bottle. And I'm going to tell you guys why I wanted this, why I really, really, really wanted this. It is a refillable foam dispenser. And the reason I wanted this is because I have a spray tan kit, like the tent, the machine where you spray yourself. And when I got it, I got it from my cousin because she bought it. I will, I will, I'll share pictures. Yeah, I definitely will. Um, when I bought this, um, oh, that's awesome. My honey from Bob Lightlaw for my screen. Um, they can you have the surgery or no? Put some tiger stripes on there. You know what I'm saying? Like on that. I'm gonna get think I'm getting a tattoo for my type one diabetes. Like something to state that you have type one diabetes, like something like that. So the reason I wanted this is because um years ago my cousin bought a spray tan machine and she never used it. So I got it from her at a really good discounted price because I've always wanted one. And I told Sean, I said, ooh, if I get this, I'm always going to be tan. But the thing is, is it's a process. You have to take a bath, which is not a problem. You have to exfoliate your skin. You have to get out and make sure you're good and dry. Then you have to get, you have to set the tent up somewhere in the house uh, after the kids go to sleep because you don't want your kids to you walk around naked, but, you know, so, and then you have to put all these pieces together for this machine. And then Sean would spray me, but it's so cold and I hate being cold. So, um, and then, like, it's just a whole process. Then he has to clean everything up because I can't get wet. You can't get wet for several hours. And then eight hours later, you got to wash it off and you got to be very careful. Anyways, so I saw somewhere that if you take the tanner that goes in those machines, which I do have some, I don't have a lot left, um, which I actually just put some on my Amazon wish list because I'm almost out of the tanner. Um, but anyways, if you pour the tanner in one of these, it will foam it and you can put it into your mitt and rub it on you. Because right now it's just liquid. But I read online that if you buy one of these, it will turn it into foam and you can rub it on you and it will work just like if you get the spray tan. So that's why I really wanted this. So it's thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I always lose the bracelet, so that would be great. That would be a really good idea. Yeah. Definitely do that. Oh, I'm going to take these out because that way I can make sure I send you a thank you note. I'm going to make sure I put them in my little bin over here. I got a little bin where I'm putting all my little um, papers so I can make sure I send thank you notes. Okay. 
Next, we have this. And I got this today. One hundred twenty-five pound weight loss is amazing. That's awesome. So this is from Stephanie. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Because um, at first I was just putting like things on there for me, and then I was like, that's kind of selfish, like to put just stuff on there for me. So I was like, I need to put some things on there for the kids. So I started with Kennedy, and um, what I put for her was bath. She loves bath bombs, so I put her like a thing up, and I have not showed her this because I knew once I showed her, she would want to dig into it. So I didn't show her, but it's natural and handmade bath bombs. And I am, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to show her these because she is going to be so obsessed with these. So I want to open it and see though what they look like. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to be super excited. Actually, I think I'm going to um maybe wake her up early in the morning. Just so I, like I can make sure she takes, she took a bath tonight. But I think I'm going to wake her up a little bit early in the morning just so she can take a bath and I can show her her bath bombs because she's going to love it. Y'all, y'all, look at that. It's cupcakes. It's little cupcakes and hearts. She's going to love this. She is going to love it. This is ocean. Oh, this is coconut. Okay, I might use this one. I might use this one. <laughs> Um, let's see about this one. Um, lemon. Oh my God, these smell so good. This one is grapefruit, y'all. These smell so, like, so good. Oh, thank you, Joe. How you been, Joe? And then look at this one. I'm obsessed with this one. It's a cupcake. This smells so good. Eucalyptus oil. You may have covered it already, but did you hear Britney Spears' 20 minute audio? Which one? No, I just heard like one that like um, Kevin Betterline released where she was like getting on to the kids. Oh, lavender. Y'all, look how cute this cupcake is. That's so stinking cute. And then these big hearts. There's more underneath the hearts. Oh, these smell so good. Y'all, look at these hearts. And then, I didn't even see these. There's donuts underneath the hearts. And this one is strawberry. And this one is orange. I honestly want to go wake her up. <laughs> I had a hard time not showing these to her. When I saw them, I was like, I'm not, I cannot show these to her. I gotta, I gotta do the unboxing and then I'll show them to her. Look how cute these are. And they smell, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. They smell so good. So good. That's wild how good they smell. And this is like a little heart that came with it. Um, I didn't see that, anything about Brittany, but if, if that, if something else did come out, um, I'll check it out tonight when we get off, and we'll do a live stream about it tomorrow. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to get all the information first. Okay, next. And I think this was from, um, let's see. Yeah, this is this came in the same package. This came in the same package, and it is a mama bear shirt, which I picked out and put on my thing. You have to check it out. I'm de okay, I'll definitely check it out. So this was one of the shirts that I picked out as well. So stinking cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is literally such a cute mama bear shirt. I will honestly probably wear this tomorrow. I'm not even going to lie. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then I have, um, this was on my list as well. This is a, the Jeffree Star, um, velour liquid lipstick. 
that was on my thing. It is a little dark. I actually um, got it the other day. It smells really good. It smells like, I, don't, I can't think of what it smells like, but it smells like something, clearly. So now I have this one. I have this one. And then I have this one. This one is a little bit darker than I thought. So I have to lighten it up because I'm not, I, I normally don't do dark lipstick because I just never felt like it looked good on me. But I did put it on the other day and everybody said it looked fine. What do you guys think? Actually, so I got this Tuesday. I think Tuesday because I wore it to the doctor's appointment. I put it on. Vintage Row kicking in. <laughs> Don't try to fight it. It might make you kind of crazy. Um, so I got this. So thank you so much. This was also on my wish list. I can actually put maybe this over it, maybe lighten it up a little bit. What do you guys think? Destiny, are you okay, babe? Thank you. Destiny, are you okay? All right. Next, I got this, and y'all, if y'all don't have one of these, you need one of these. I'm going to tell you, I'm here to tell you all about it, okay? So, this is called Tile, and what this is, my middle name is May, I'm named it for my boss, Eliza May, that's a cute name, I like May. Okay. Oh, no. Did you go to the doctor? On top of it, almost too cool to off your skin. Gotcha. Put a warm foam lipstick on top of it. So, this is a towel. It is a versatile tracker for keys, bags, and more. So, basically, what you do with this if you don't have one. Um, I actually, this is the second one that I have. Um, here's the first one. It is on my keys to my car. So right here, this is how big it is. It's not very big. Um, what you do is you Bluetooth it to your phone, right? And then you put it on your keys or you put it on your gym bag or you put it on your remote or what, whatever, right? And it acts as a tracker. So if you, so it's on my keys, right? The other day, I could not find my phone. Not my keys, but my phone. So I went to my, this, this right here, this towel thing, and I just hit the button and it alarms. It's supposed to alarm my phone. Um, I've never, I've only had to use it once, but in my phone. So what I can do is, <clears throat> let me find it. Towel. Whoop! I put gal or gil. Okay. So on the app, right here. So okay. It's oh, it actually. When you get in the app, when you open the app, it tells you where your keys are. So, like, right now, it shows my keys, and it tells me where my, it tells me what street they are on. So, say you leave your keys at Walmart on Universal Street, it will show you, when you pull this up, it'll show you keys on Universal Street. And then it'll show you what phone is connected to this, right? So, like, if I hit to, um, if I hit to, like, sound it off, it will make this, um, make a noise, right? So, let me see. So, it works both ways. Like, if you lose your keys, you go here, you hit the button. Um.
So this is, it's loud. It's loud, so if it's, you can hear it. So you just hit this R on your phone when you find it. Now, and you can do it the reverse way as well. I don't remember how you do it on the reverse way. I think you just, um, yes, I do repeat this as a gift. Well, no, actually, I bought the first one and I received it. Um, so to stay on your phone, I think you just hold it. Um, but I had to, Sean actually did it the other day when I couldn't find my phone. Um, there's like a way you, there it goes. I'm sorry, Sean. So, um, I don't know how to get it off. <laughs> Let me get it off somehow. I found you. I found you. I'm here. I found you. Okay, I found you. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm so sorry, you guys. So, it's kind of like the Apple thing. Or it may be Apple. I'm not sure. But it's called Tile. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Uh, this one's called Tile, and Sean got it for me, um, this one. Um, and so I put another one on my wish list, and one of you guys got it for me. So thank you guys so, 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 so much. I wished I would have put it on my extra set of keys to the car that I just bought because I can't find them. Y'all, I already lost the extra set of keys to my car. Somehow. Um, but hopefully we won't lose these. I sure, I sure hope not. Um, so that's what I got in my Amazon from my Amazon wish list from you guys that y'all are amazing. It literally, um, when I was asked to do it, I was like, yeah, sure. You know, I was like, whoever asked me will probably give me something that's awesome. So sweet. I had no idea that I would literally start like getting tons of things in the mail. So thank you guys so much. Shayna, it's fake. It's fake. I actually, um, I have a video. I'll send it to you, but it's a, it's a, um, stick on and it looks so good before but now it's starting to peel off like it's like flowers and stuff so tonight or in the morning when i take a shower i'm trying to scrub it off and then tomorrow we'll do another one i have a bunch of different designs i think so i think tomorrow the one that i want to do whoops um, maybe this one tomorrow uh, maybe not that one. Maybe that one tomorrow. I don't know. I know I'm going to do one that's called, oh, this one. Maybe this one tomorrow. Maybe that one. Um, But I want to do one with color. Um, But y'all, they look really real. It's really wild. It's really wild. It sucks, y'all, because so we bought the car. And when we bought the car, they actually didn't have the second key. They're like, can you come back and get the second key? We got to get it made. And I was like, yeah, sure. So, like, a week later, we went back and got the second key or something. And Sean had it in my car. He just had it in the cup holder of my car. And I'm like, don't put it in the cup holder of my car, you know, like, and I got it. And now I don't know where it is. And he's like, you shouldn't have moved it. And I'm like. So, I don't know. Now I got to figure out where it is. Um, but anyways, anywho, I think tomorrow, um, tomorrow, Y'all, what should I title my video? Do y'all want to watch it really quickly? Y'all want to watch the video with me? How many people's on here? Um, I haven't titled it yet. I need to title it. And I need to make a thumbnail, too. Um, 
I'm not going to make it public right now. Do you guys want to watch it really quick? Well, no, it's a 30 minute video. Never mind. Um, we're not going to watch it right now. It's a 30 minute video. Um, I need to title it. And it's about Anne Hayes' personal life, more about her dating, about her um, her upbringing, the trauma that she endured uh, due to her father. Honestly, I need to watch it um, on here one time before I set it to public, just because I literally did the wrong one. I did the wrong one. So now I'm like kind of bothered. So uh, maybe tomorrow when I'm, uh, maybe tomorrow when I post it for the public, I'll set it as like a premiere. And we can watch it together then. Um, but I am going to put it up first for the members and everything. So, um, okay. So, I have a little bit of an issue, you guys. And have you guys been seeing what's going on with Gabby Hanna? Have you, I don't cover Gabby Hanna. Um, but I think me and Wildflower may kind of talk about what's going on with Gabby Hanna. You just scared the bejeebies out of me. Who are you yelling at? Am I yelling? Yeah. What? Yeah. I just talk loud. <laughs> yeah, big mouth all the way outside. You wanna lie? I am. Um, Mr. Big Mouth. So you know what I did while I got back? When I like got the video done, I just needed to add the edit. I like downloaded it. Deleted the whole thing. No, I downloaded it and then I went back into the editing software and rather than getting that new video that I just downloaded it and editing that one with the edits like the thunder and all that. I edited the other one. But I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be fine. Because oh. I think it's the one, it was the one that I just uploaded anyways. So but there was a few. No, I'm done. I got it uploaded. <laughs> you ain't working all night. All, all evening this mm -hmm. week. All week. I work so loud on that. That has to be. I work so hard on it. That has to be a every once in a while thing. Like, that can't. Or I have to have help. Yeah. Like. We need you in, like, you know. In the house, the yeah. big project that's cool every once in a while, but I've been missing you. I know. Me too. I didn't know you were alive. Mm-hmm. Yes, you did unboxing. Let me figure it out. Let me know. Let Babe! Know. What? Look at this. Look at these. For She's going to love it, yeah. Well, that's good because I didn't give her a bath tonight. She, uh, I thought you did give her a bath. No. Oh. She was tired and grouchy and she didn't want to do her own Did you work. tell me you didn't give her a bath? I did. I guess I thought you I said you, you did give her a bath. Enough. I told you I didn't, I didn't give her a bath and then she has a little bit of homework left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, she really well, I, I, I literally want to wake her up. Oh my up. gosh, she is going to love the, I know. Uh, the cupcake ones. Smell uh, them. Smell them. She's not going to want to put it in the bathtub. She's going to want to bring it to me like, I made you a cupcake. I know, right? Let me show Grandma. Wow. I want to eat it. I know. I got to go. Oh, it tastes bad. Oh, I'm sure it doesn't taste good. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Where am I going to sit? Oh. I don't know. Because, you know, we, and when I get her bath bomb, I pay We've like, made bath bombs before. I pay like, I pay like four bucks. Yeah, we bought that one kit at one time. Yep, well, we made them. But I pay like four bucks for one. Because she, Kennedy, loves bath bombs. I wonder if we ordered them, how much money. Yeah. Aren't these super cool? Say. Yeah, she's going to be excited. And they're like handmade. They're all natural. So, like, they don't have any, like, weird stuff in them that, like, maybe she could, like, um, you know, break her out or anything. I guess I can fall asleep Shit. listening to your video. Or not. Shit. This, I think this one smells the best. Smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one do you like the most? Because I'm like, I'm taking one. I, think, <laughs> I want to take one. I think that. I can't smell that one. They almost all smell the same, huh? No. Is it just me? No, I think it's just you. Your nostrils aren't working. Okay, no, you're not. Okay. No, I gotta deviated septum. You got deviated septum? Yeah. So I cannot wait to show her this in the morning. Yeah, she's, she's just gonna, gonna love it. So you guys know about the Gabby Hanna situation? Not much longer. Not much longer. Uh, not much longer, babe. I'm not rushing. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just. I got to get to bed tonight. Yeah. Bye. I love you. Yeah. Anyone that can't.
can't see the messages, uh, go to the top of the screen and switch it from um, from uh, switch it to live chat. Make sure it says live chat. Okay, so Gabby Hanna, I have never covered her before, um, but I think I'm I think I'm gonna talk from yeah, switch it from top chat to live chat. So I've never covered Gabby Hanna before, um, but there's been a lot going on where it seems like she's having a um, mental breakdown right now and it's really 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 sad um because she isn't aware of it uh, you know um in my opinion this is all of my opinion what i think what i feel um that's what i'm going to talk about running gray wolf because when i first found out that another creator was basically saying that gabby hannah was lying and that um like basically saying that Gabby Hanna was making a mockery out of mental health. Um, that really bothered me. Like really bad. The reason why is because anybody that'll get, uh, like anybody that's going to upload that many TikToks in one day and let a stranger into their house and do the things that Gabby Hanna is doing, I don't think they're doing it for clicks and views. I don't think they're doing it for attention. Um, I think some people will do like kind of extreme things for attention, but not that extreme. I don't think anybody would be that devoted to put themselves in danger like that. Um, I mean, when Gabby Hanna realized that, that guy knew who she was, and she's like, why did you lie to me? And she's like, get out of my house. I mean, she literally went from like, like, why did you lie to me? And she's like, get out, get out, get out. I mean, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I got fearful for the guy for a second. Because I was like, if something just clicked in her and she realized like that this guy lied to her. And I don't know. I think it's obvious. Um, do you know if Macy from Team Mom is pregnant? Um, I don't think so. But I can tell you clickbait articles go up all the time saying that she's pregnant. All the time. Um, so more than likely, it's probably clickbait. More than likely. Um. So, I don't watch um, a lot of creators just because I just really don't have the time to do it. Not that I don't want to because I do want to. Like, a lot of times if I'm in here working and it's, like, something that, like, I'll see that, like, somebody that I follow is live. So, I'll click on it and I will be working and, like, trying to listen to their video at the time. Um, but, like, it's far and then, like, if I'm going to bed and I'm, like, laying in bed, I'll, like, watch Nikki or like Tia Simone or like somebody like that or you know what I'm saying but like I really never just get to sit and watch someone because I'm always just like working or dealing with kids you know um but this morning I think it was this morning or maybe yesterday morning baby what did you tell me what are you doing can you hear that train in here not really you not until you open the door wow yeah I couldn't hear until you open the door that is crazy mm -hmm. So loud out there, and yeah, I, was listening. I heard it when you opened the and door. I couldn't hear it in your video because I was listening. Yeah, but, and I'm like, dude, do, do you not hear the train in, in this building? This built pretty dang, dang good, I guess. You did a good job, baby. Mm -hmm. You can't hear the train because I hear it all through the house, like right there next to it. I know. What were you asking when I walked in? When did you tell me about the backwards Barbie and Gabby Hanna video? Um. Yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. It was when, um, not a... Not another housewife put up a video. Yeah, I seen that on my feed. I, st I still haven't even watched it, but... It's good, I watched it. I like her. She has a lot of good points. Yeah. Um, so, not another housewife made a video about, um, about Backwoods Barbie's video. And Sean was like, Net -net. He's like, did you like see that Backwoods Barbie is like kind of going after Gabby Hanna for like this meltdown that she's having? And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, like not another housewife just put up a video. And I was like, you no way, like no way, please don't tell me that. And he's like, yeah. And so here's the thing: I went and watched some of the TikToks that Gabby Hanna put up, and to me, I I have PTSD. Sean ha Sean has PTSD. Um. I don't claim to have a lot of like 
mental health disorders because I don't. I have PTSD from getting arrested, um, more than likely from years of being sexually abused when I was little. Um, Sean has PTSD from the military. Um, we're pretty sure he has traumatic brain injury as well. Um, my daughter has um, my daughter has some things, you know that. So, anyways, uh, yeah, oh, I'm sure she is. Not another housewife. I'm sure she's fine with you saying her name on here um, because it, I mean it kind of promotes her. So, I mean, I think her video was really well. I, oh my gosh, Sean. Sean, you gotta be, y'all, I think I got psoriasis. I'm not even kidding. I literally gotta get to the doctor. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure I have, now I have a spot on the back of my arm. Um, so here's the thing, here's the thing. Um, her video is really good because she points out a lot of, come here, babe. I got, like, psoriasis on the back of my arm or no. whatever this is. No, I'm don't. so sorry. You don't. Yeah, feel it. It's starting up. I know. Oh, my God, dude. I got to go to the doctor, man. I'm going to call I'm gonna call and schedule you an appointment tomorrow. You got the video going? Yeah. So we don't I have gotta, nothing to do this week except Wait, to, Tuesday, I got the stream. I got the thing with, um... Wildflower. Um, okay, but other than that. Other than that, not really. I mean, I just I need to week. work, but yeah, but I need to work. You can go to the doctor here, Toledo. Yeah, cause um, Harris has an appointment. I wonder if I can just call in the morning and make one with her. Yeah, man, it's crazy. You can't see it unless you look really close, and it just looks like really dry right there. Mm -hmm. It's not red yet, but that's exactly how it started on your neck when I first seen it. I know. When I first saw it. It's terrible. Yeah. It's white trash when I seen it. When I seen it. <laughs> um so um I, I don't know. I'm looking. This was August twenty fifth. There's um uh... Are you talking to me too? No, or... baby. I think it may be clickbait. I'll, I'll, cause this seems like it's clickbait. I'll do a little bit more looking into it, but right now that looks like clickbait. Well, proof Macy is pregnant and caption of the video was, I'm gonna look into it. Um, everything that I see says like, is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Clickbait, clickbait article. Um, so anyways, okay. So this is, here's the thing. Sean told me that, um, you know, Backwoods Barbie did this video on Gabby Hanna and that Not Another Housewife did a video kind of talking about it. So this morning, this morning, actually, it was this morning because it was when I was getting ready to go to my grandmother's. I was listening to it. I'm like putting my makeup on, getting the kids ready, and I'm listening to Backwoods Barbie's video. Not Backwoods Barbie. Um, not Another Housewife. And the thing is, is she's playing clips from backwoods barbie and backwoods barbie literally says she says um she basically says that it's fake that it's for clicks and views that it offends her because she really does suffer from mental health issues and she feels like the reason she's not taken seriously is because of people like gabby Hanna. but the thing is is how can you know that she's faking and then just for the pure simple fact what if she's not faking and you are one of the ones now that is attacking a woman with mental health by calling her a liar. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some do some digging, being baby Brooklyn, see if I can figure it out. Um, right now, all the articles that I see just kind of it's like seems like clickbait. So there's been oh my gosh, there was one time where they had them in a picture with a little board like this that says like baby McKinney number some something. Um, so they, they have it looking legit sometimes. I'm not saying that it's not legit. It could be. She might be. Um, but I don't know yet. So anyways, um, Backwoods Barbie in a clip, she said, um, I used to not follow Gabby Hanna, but now I do. I started following her 
because of all of her antics. That's what she said in the clip. She said, the reason I started following her was because of all of her antics. Then, like right after that, she says, y'all are putting money in the pockets of these people that are doing this. Y'all want to wonder why they're doing this, and this is not verbatim. This is just like, you know, uh, kind of around about what she said. Basically, she's like, I, I used to not follow her. I started following her due to her antics. Then she says, um, the reason they do this is because it's a payday for them. And people need to stop putting money in the pockets of people that do this. And I'm like, you literally just admitted that that's the reason that you followed her. So you're telling people to stop putting money in her pocket while you're putting money in her pocket. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if you got my comment on the TBI. I have hydrocephalus. I have a BP show. I had draining the excess fluid from my brain. My um my nephew did. He had hydrocephalus as well, and he had a shunt in his head. Um, uh, I remember before he got the shunt, his head was like really really swollen, and I was actually in there one time when they pulled the fluid off of it, and it, it, his head just went from like really hard and like swollen to just like flat and like jelloy almost. From them pulling so much fluid off his head. It was like, oh. Um, so anyways, um, she says that. She says, like, I followed her because of her antics. And then y'all need to stop putting money in her pockets. And I'm like, but that's what you're, you just admitted that you did the same thing. That the whole reason you followed her was to watch her antics. And then you're getting on to people for following her and watching her over her antics. But you literally just said the same thing, right? Um, then she's like, there's so much that was just like extremely hypocritical to me. And I was like, like, I, I like I, I contemplated reaching out to her just to be like, Hey girl, like I know maybe we don't have the best history, but what if Gabby's not lying? Like to me, I don't, I don't know how anyone could know for sure. And I feel like any, here's the thing. Even if you're doing this for clicks and views, something's not all right up there because Nobody in a correct mental state would even want to act that way for clicks and views. You know what I'm saying? Like something has to be abnormal and like just not okay for her. Even if it was just for clicks and views, something would be, would, if, so, if somebody thought it was okay, like, oh, I'm going to act this way for clicks and views. I'm going to act like I'm having a mental breakdown. I'm going to act like I found the Garden of Eden in my backyard. I'm going to act like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like there would be an issue there. That would be some sort of mental situation going on up there. Um, so I, 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 I thought about it. I was like, maybe I should just reach out to her in the nicest way possible and be like, hey, girl, like I know we don't have the best history, but I, the, that video, I just feel like, because what if you're wrong? Like, what if this really is a mental spiral and you're accusing her of lying? Like, you know how it feels when you're accused of lying. Like, you know how it feels when people call you out, like, and say, you know, oh, you're using, you're using your mental health for an excuse. Like, you know how that feels. So maybe don't do it to someone else, especially someone that is, like, so not in a good place right now. Um, but then, as I was thinking that to myself and I was listening to Not Another Housewife, literally Not Another Housewife said, you can't criticize her even if it's in the nicest way. Like, even if you reach out to her or, or comment on her channel in the nicest way possible, she will think that you're, like, attacking her. So then I was like, that is so true. If I reach out to her, she's going to think that I'm being like messy or something. So I'm not going to reach out to her. Um, honestly, I do want to kind of see what the the um, comments are on that video because I just can't. Like, to me, I don't know how, any, how anybody could watch her and be sympathetic to her mental health. And watch her not being sympathetic to someone else who is definitely, clearly struggling right now. You know? Um, oh, yeah. See, reading comments, who's trolling this week? She just, she thinks everybody is trolling when really that's not what it is. It's kind of like Katie. How Katie thinks everyone is trolling. Not everybody that leaves criticism is trolling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. From what I recall, Gabby Hanna was diagnosed with bipolar. Why is it okay to assume that she's faking? Doesn't that just spread the stigma about mental health? Absolutely, yes. That's that's what I think. 
And this is what I said. To be fair, she admitted on TikTok that she's faking. She made a video saying this is art. And you guys are watching me talking about me. I, I don't care if she did get on TikTok and say, I'm faking. Because still, in my opinion, someone that would let a stranger come into their house, someone that would do, anybody that would go to that extreme for clicks and views, something's not okay with them. Their mental health is not well. Even if they did all that faking it. Like, I could never get on here and fake a, 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 a breakdown um, because I know mental, I know that's not okay. I know you don't do that. I know you don't act that way. Um, sorry for all my mistakes. Presumptive oh, I get it. I understand. Um, on the first day, I saw how she would overreact in the comment section. Yeah. Um. I, like, I really don't care if she did say, I'm faking this. I just don't understand it. And then someone said, I suffer from depression, bipolar, PTSD, and anxiety. It makes me sick to my stomach when people make fun of people with, with different mental health issues. And um, I think this person was saying that to Backwoods Barbie. Like, it makes me sick to see people make fun of it. Um, she may not have. Like, maybe people actually believe that she's making fun of it, but I just don't see it. I really don't think she's making fun of it. To me, honestly, when I listened to just the clips that Not Another Housewife played, everything was hypocritical. Because I'm like, you literally are saying that mental health is not taken seriously. You're saying mental health is not taken seriously. We get attacked for our mental health problems while you are not taking her mental health seriously and you're atta attacking her for her problems. Even if you don't believe them. Like, do you guys remember when Tracy um, from... Not, from um, Love After Lockup passed away. Tracy uh, Wagman. Is that her name, Tracy Wagman? I don't know, but I watched some of the Gabby Hanna videos that everybody was talking about just because I was curious. And um, she's clearly, something is, like, off, dude. You know, I'm with you. I don't, I don't feel like you could fake what we, me and you watched it, didn't we? Or she of Gabby was, Hanna, like, yeah. Connecting all kind of different things with religion and my thing is, like, what if Backwoods Barbie, because she does have mental health issues, she stated that, what if she goes through something like this on her channel? Because here's the thing, when you have a platform, you use it. Even, like, some you, people, when they get upset, they take to their platform, and they and they will talk about it. So, to me, I feel like probably Gabby Hanna is going through something, right? And she's taking to her social media platform to talk about it. And... We're seeing a breakdown. In her mind, she doesn't think it's a breakdown. She just thinks, like, she's sharing her life with people, you know? Um, I so forgot what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. Um, Okay, Tracy. So, Tracy from Love After Lockup. She passed away, right? Tracy passed away. Everybody reported that she passed away. I would not report that she died from an overdose. That's what people were saying before it came out, before the official report came out, that she did, in fact, die from that. I wouldn't say that. Other other creators did say that they, you know, that it was being said. But I was, like, trying to think of the family. And her brother commented on my video and was like, I appreciate you not saying that's what she passed from until we get the report. Because that's hurting my family, for people to assume that that's why she passed. Uh, so I do appreciate you not saying that. So anyways... Well, um, so I make a video about her passing, Sherelle, like a bunch of people make a video about her passing. And back with Barbie, like makes a video and posts this community post saying that we're like just jumping on gossip for clicks and views. Uh, but she's doing her research and there ain't no reports of Tracy being deceased. And then the picture that Tracy's manager posted or, or a live stream that that um, a live stream that Tracy's manager was on in the reflection of her sunglasses, you could see a blonde sitting across from her and it looked like it could be Tracy. So this was all a publicity stunt. She literally did a video saying this was a publicity stunt and us, us other YouTubers was just uh, jumping in real quick to be first on the story without knowing the facts. But she got the facts, Jack. She literally said Tracy Wagman was faking her death for clout. And that us YouTubers that reported on her death was just um, 
trying to be the first with the story. And um, basically we were wrong though, because she faked her death. And she didn't. The poor woman didn't fake her death. She really died. So then, you know, like, I don't know if she ever apologized saying, well, um, I think she did make a video like explaining why she thought that. But in my personal opinion, I think there's some things you don't jump head first in and post to the public. Like maybe if that was your thought, like I think maybe she's faking because this and this and this and this. And like, I'm not seeing any reports, like official reports of her dying, like her death certificate. I think it was like she said it wasn't a like her death certificate hadn't come out. Whoa, no way. She was calling her a crackhead. That's not, that's, oh my goodness. Um, oh. Yeah, she's probably going to flip on me too, but if she does, I'm just, I don't, I don't even want to know. I don't want to care because I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it back and forth with her. I don't care. I just did not, I was like stunned because I'm like, as her, backward, Backwoods Barbie, being someone that suffers from mental health disorders, you would think that she would be very sympathetic to someone else. And maybe if she didn't believe that Gabby Hanna was really going through a meltdown right now, um, maybe just kind of hang tight for a little bit to see what was happening. You know, just to kind of like, rather than putting it out there, because here's the thing, what if you're wrong? Just like with the Tracy situation, you were wrong. And, and you were calling other creators out. That's the thing is, that's another thing that I don't like is she, like in the, in the when I used to try to watch her videos, just to like watch and give her a thumbs up, like, I kept noticing that she would always, like, mention, um, she would always mention, like, other creators. Like, be careful who y'all watch, you know, because, and, and she would aim it at me at times. Like, she, she definitely aimed it at me at times in, in reverse to Mama June, like, scoop concerning Mama June. Like, she would be, like, when she would say, be careful who y'all watch, because, like, they don't have the right information, or they're just, they're just, like, um, putting up any little tidbit of information they can get but you know me i got the scoop for you guys like that was directed at me a couple of times um and i just feel like she's always encouraging her audience to not watch other creators when i'm like watch who you want because you can watch me you can watch her you can watch katie if you want to i don't care because guess what i know more than likely if you like to watch sister wives stuff if you if you like to watch sister wives content more than likely you're going to watch more than one video about Sister Wives. You're going to watch more than one channel about Sister Wives. Like, if you want to say, okay, what's happening on Sister Wives this week? You might watch my video. You might watch Katie's video. You might watch Backwoods Barbie. You might, you know what I'm saying? You might watch three or four of them just to get a different um, aspect of everything that's going on. Thank you. I'm going to do a new one tomorrow. It's fake. <laughs> um, wait, the official Nikki. Are you Nikki 38? Did you change your thing? Um... So, no, she didn't die. She didn't die. She's just having, like, a breakdown right now. Like, I just don't understand how people that have watched her for this long and heard her preach on mental health, even in her video. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Back with Barbie could have really used Gabby Hanna's situation her advantage by standing up for her because a lot of creators that covered this stood up for for gabby hannah and was like y'all i don't think she's okay and maybe she just said i'm faking it because she got people at her house because people were calling the cops maybe she got on her tiktok and said oh it's fake and you guys are falling for it because people were literally calling the cops she had the cops come to her house I, I, twice for sure that i know of and then she had this stranger come to her house so maybe she was like crap i need to say i'm faking this because like but anybody that would even fake that, anybody that would do the things that she did for clicks and views, they're not well mentally. They're just not. And so I just don't understand. Like when I watched it, when I was watching her videos, I felt so bad. Um, uh, no, I'm going to, oh, okay. Hey, um, the reason I was asking is because there, Nikki 38 has a channel and your picture looks kind of like her. So I was like, wait, did Nikki change her name? Um,
And then in the video, she's like, not every mental health disorder looks the same. Like for each person, it's different. So basically from what she was saying, like PTSD for me could look, could look different for PTSD for Sean. Or like bipolar for me could look different for bipolar for Sean. So she was literally saying it could look different for anybody. You know what I'm saying? All while saying she don't believe Gabby Hanna because she has these mental disorders and she don't believe that Gabby Hanna has them. So there was just a lot of things in the video. Um, not another housewife did a really good video on it, you guys. She like took notes to like point out the things that was like hypocritical. Like, I like I really feel like this could have if she would have stood up and said, "Listen, you know, potentially she's faking it. I don't know, but if she's not." I sympathize with her and she's really struggling right now if she's not faking it and but she went the completely different way yeah Gabby Hanna looks disconnected like her eyes are just like she's not some it's just not there like it's just there's no way anybody's gonna convince me that she's faking it I don't care nobody uploads that many videos in like two or three days like she did let let a stranger into their house and then it's like look what he did do it again He's sharing his water with me. I found the Garden of Eden in my backyard. Like, nobody's going to do all that. Like, they may go live with a couple of little crazy things and say some off-the-wall things, but not to that extent. I don't, no, 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 not to that extent. I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? So, I just, I, when, when Sean told me that she was, that she had made a video, like, attacking her, I was like, what? Like, there's no way. Like, there's no way she did. Because she has been so open. Here's the thing. Anytime, like, somebody has ever spoken out about her, she says, my mental health can't take this. You know, they're attacking me and I have mental health problems and my mental health can't take someone attacking me, so they shouldn't do this. And if they do this, knowing that it's affecting my mental health, they're even sorrier of a person. And then her... Her viewers believe it. They, like, latch on to it. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, this person's attacking you and you got mental health problems. Like, that's terrible. Well, what if Gabby Hanna is, like, legit? And you just, like, put out this video calling her a liar, saying that she's a scam scammer, saying that she's a mock, mocking everything, and she's, like, legit. Something's wrong with her. Like, then, like, how do you expect sympathy? How do you expect sympathy for your mental health and when you can't give it to someone else, you're like, you got to question it. You know what I'm saying? Like, am I, like, I'm going to bet money that if anybody in this world got mental health issues right now, it's Gabby. After seeing the videos that I saw. And, and I was sad for her. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, somebody needs to help this poor lady. Like, because she don't even know. Like, I really just feel like she don't even understand that, you know, that she doesn't, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab not another housewives video and I'll put it in the link if you guys want to see it because it's really good. I just don't understand like so many things in this video she like like the main one and if I could watch not another housewives video again I would remember but the main one was her saying I started following her due to her antics and then in the next breath she said the reason they're doing this is because people's watching and lining their pockets up you know like literally the reason people do this is because they're getting a big fat paycheck from it because you guys are watching it Y'all don't need to be watching it. Y'all don't need to be supporting this. After you just said, the whole reason you follow her was due to her antics. Because So you are literally admitting that you started following her strictly because of her actions. While telling people not to follow her due to her actions. Don't go watch. Y'all don't go watch her when she's acting this way. Because that's the, way she, that's the reason she does it. I watch her when she's acting that way because I want to see I'm nosy. I want to see what's going on. I want to watch her. But y'all don't because this is the reason she acts this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, there were so many things like that in the video that I was wondering. I was like, how is her audience not catching on to these things that are, like, extremely hypocritical in my mind? You know? 
Yeah, I commented on Mama June this evening. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Crystal. Um, I suffer from mental health, and I believe Gabby is suffering from mental health problems right now. Very smart. Honestly, I have um, one of my cousins is a um, nurse practitioner for mental health. She works in the mental health, and I think I'm going to reach out to her and just kind of send her a couple videos and ask her what she thinks. It would be great if I could get her to come on my channel and we could kind of watch the stuff together and get her educated opinion on what is going on here because I think she would know for sure. Oh, I so badly want to watch this video with you guys just because I think it's like, but I'm just going to link it because I don't, um, that way she gets the views for it and it's not all over here. Um, yeah, I'm going to, um, The reason I want to watch it with you guys, though, is because she makes a lot of good points. Um, and there was even some things that I heard in the video that I was like, oh, yeah, and that. Oh, yeah, and that. Or it was like, I just don't really understand how someone could expect sympathy and use their mental health, you know, for when they have breakdowns and maybe they go after people or they say some things. They're like, I'm sorry, you guys, like. Mentally, I'm not well right now, so bear with me. And they want their audience to do that. And then if, if anybody says, well, I don't know if I believe her. Like, I don't know if I believe that this is, like, her mental health causing her to act this way. She's, like, super offended. But she's not thinking about the fact that that's what she's doing to Gabby Hanna right now. I mean, I know Gabby Hanna's not, don't care, and Gabby Hanna ain't watching her video. So it's not like Gabby Hanna even knows that this person is saying this. But still, you know, as someone that suffers from mental health disorders and she has this platform where she feels like she the people just don't care and they're like oh you use it for an excuse or you're faking for her to turn around and accuse somebody else that is literally acting this bad makes i'm just like i just don't get it i just don't get it um i have labs tomorrow so i'll mention the chronic shunt migraines to him and see what he suggests for them you have migraines because uh isn't that one of the like one of the um Symptoms of like the shunt not working. It's like you get migraines. Also, I want to tell you guys something. A while back, like. There was, like, this issue with, like, her uploading videos and them getting limited ads, like, before she even made them public. And she said that Katie was doing that. That's, it's not possible. Um, okay. Okay. So, my, I wonder if maybe, like, your shunt's not doing what it's supposed to do, maybe? Um. But a while back, she had made comments about how every time she uploads a video, um, before she even makes it public, it gets limited ads. And she's like, I know Katie's doing that. There was no way that Katie could do it, you guys. Like right now, I have a video up. I have the Anne Hayes video up. And um, it got limited ads as soon as I uploaded it. You want to know why? Because it's talking about uh, drugs, death, car accident. Um, but when a video is uploaded, private or unlimited nobody sees it like you guys can't go report my video just like katie couldn't report her video that she couldn't see nobody can see your video when it's unlisted unless you give them the link so like i was i was kind of shocked to hear her tell her audience that she's uploaded videos and that katie is reporting them right off the bat and they're getting limited ads because i was like she knows as a creator katie can't do that like she knows that she knows Katie has no access to this video before it goes up or before it goes public. Um, yeah. The amount of anti Katie channel videos like this are so crazy. So many people are having problems with her. Yeah. It's why, I mean, just a lot of people are catching on to um, her antics. Like a lot of people. I literally have people message me 
on a regular almost saying like um that they've come to realize the real KJ. You know what I'm saying? It happened um, a lot, actually. When I first came back to YouTube after, like, that little uh, break where my channel was shut down, and people believed that I ran a fraudulent fundraiser, and they believed that I faked an email, and they believed that Katie didn't shut my channel down. They believed all those things because Katie told them those things, and she lied to them about it. Um, and then when I come back, and I, I finally started putting out the video showing the proof that everything that she said was a lie, um, a lot of people come back to me and apologize. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I believed her. Okay, I need to come up with a name for my video. Blockage and nausea. Hmm. Have you been having any of those issues lately? I really need to, um, I gotta make a thumbnail and I gotta come up with a title. Yeah, and look at how honest she was about the Ronald McDonald House donations that she took up. I know, right? Mm-hmm. I could do, like, the sad life of Anne Heche. Um... The tragedy of Anne Heche, um, something like that. I never believed her. You've always been truthful. Oh, thank you. Some people didn't. I literally, but you see, that's what hit me so hard is when I saw, because I did, um, when I filed my lawsuit after my arrest, I filed my lawsuit against the police department. I can't think, anyways, when I, um, when I filed my lawsuit against, you know, the people responsible for my arrest, um, I had to go get anything that I could find about my arrest being put on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, anywhere that it would affect my job. Um, LB, is the shirt you have on a desert sand? It's a, it's a green color, I think. I got it from um, American Eagle. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? The horrific life and death of Anne Heche. Yes, that's a good one, I think. Um, that's why I'm so I'm so up to KJ. I never believed her. I became a thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that bothers me so much. I lived in the Ronald McDonald house when my daughter was in NIC. I think Flossie did too. I think my sister lived in the um, Ronald McDonald house for a little bit. Thank you. Sean really likes the shirt on me. And today I actually wore some um, shoes that kind of matched it. That are like kind of the same color. And Sean was like, they look really good. Um, but what was sad. So when I filed my lawsuit, my lawyer was like, I need anywhere that your arrest was mentioned especially by other creators um, because when you show that creators put it out they have um uh it's gonna go out to a bigger audience you know which what i, I literally i had some friends that collected evidence of every time my arrest was mentioned so i had them send it to me and they told me about it before you know they're like she's saying xyz and i'm like i don't want to know so i didn't even know the extent like okay Katie talking about my bankruptcy. I was told about it, but I did not watch it until after my arrest. So Katie talked about my bankruptcy on December 14th, 2019. My arrest happened 20, uh, December 28th, December 28th, 2019. And the day before I actually called the police about her. I called the police on her for talking about my bankruptcy online and lying about it. So I knew about it because people watched it and people that followed me watched it and they was like, she's talking about your bankruptcy and saying X, Y, Z. 
And they're like, do you want to see it? And I'm like, no, I don't even want to see it. I don't want to see it. Um, so I didn't even defend myself back then because I wasn't watching it. And um, there was just a lot going on in my life. Mentally, I was not well, you know. Thank you, baby. Um, so I wasn't well. I didn't watch it. I did not start watching and seeing all these things that was said about me until the lawsuit. And I had to start getting it off of my lawyer. And that's when I finally watched the video where she talked about my bankruptcy. And one thing that really hurt me was when she was talking about my bankruptcy, seeing the comments. Seeing people that, like, had followed me saying, like, oh, wow, like, she's such a scammer, you know, like, oh, they messed with the wrong one. You're such a good reporter. Literally, there was people telling her how she was such a good reporter. When literally in the video, if you watch her, she says they made a payment in October. They made a huge payment in November. And then in December, my car company was going to repossess my car. Even though she said they haven't made a payment in three months. First off, I don't know many car companies that repossess after three months. I don't know. Maybe I've never chanced it to figure it out. But, like, when we worked at the finance company, you had to be, like, six to eight months behind before we would consider, like, going to repossess your car. You know what I'm saying? Like, file to take your car. Um, before we would file, like, a judgment on you, you had to be, like, six to eight months behind. Um so she literally said, she said they have not made a payment on the bankruptcy in three months. And then, in, in, in talking about this, she said they made a payment in October, a huge payment in November, and then on December 6th, the car company filed with the court to repossess the car. And I'm like, hold up. How do you not make a payment for three months? And it's in December. We made our October, uh, we made our October payment. We made, we made a huge payment in November. And then two weeks after we made that huge payment, the car company is going to file to take our car. That's not right. Any company, like any car company, is not going to file to repossess your car if you made a huge payment the month before and a payment before that. If they see that you are paying, they're going to try to work with you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it was so wild. Like, sometimes I'm literally just like, like with Katie, seeing those people say that, like, oh, you're such a good reporter. Oh, they really messed up messing with you. And I'm like, and you guys are hearing her say, they ain't made a payment in three months. All the while, you hear her say, they made an October payment, a huge payment in November, and there's nothing clicking, saying, like, wait, that don't make sense. That really doesn't make sense. Like, sometimes, like, with Katie, and it's the same with Backwoods Barbie, like, I feel like things don't register at times. Like, people hear what they want to hear with the creator that they like. Like, they don't really hear everything. Or maybe they just overlook some things. I don't know. Because, like, I... When I heard about the Backwoods Barbie thing, I was like, if she, if her creators do not call her out in the chat and be like, wait, hold up, you suffer from mental health, you don't like when people question you, so why do you feel like it's okay to question her right now, even if you don't believe it? Because here's the thing, the people that call Backwoods Barbie out, I'm like, because they think she's lying, they don't believe her. They think she's, literally people that call Backwoods Barbie out, it's because they genuinely think that she's lying. She don't appreciate it. So maybe even if she genuinely thinks that Gabby Hanna is lying, maybe it's a chance that she's not. And it's just not nice to say the things that she said. So I was just like, and, and, and the things that she said that was super hypocritical, like there were several things. But the main one that I could think about right off the top of my head was the, I subscribed to her due to her antics. And then telling everyone else, but don't watch her because you guys are lying in her pockets. And this is the reason that she does it. I'm like, so she's kind of the one, rules for thee, but not for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I work for a finance company. I worked for, I used to manage a finance company. I mean, maybe it's probably different, different places. Many banks will repo when you are over 75 days past due. So we, we were in a bankruptcy. So she was claiming that the car company, like, uh, was going to repossess the car. Um. And that they sent us a letter telling us that we were going to repossess the car. And she said we were three months behind, but we weren't. We weren't. We were not three months behind. She mentions, so this happened on December 14th. On December 14th, she, so on the video, she's live. She's like, so they're three months behind. And the car company has filed to repossess the car. They made a payment in October, a huge payment in November. And then two weeks later, after they made their huge payment, their car company filed to repossess the car. And I'm like, um, I know 
when I managed the finance company, you may have been three months behind, but if you started sending in payments and you send in a huge payment, I'm not going to file to take your stuff two weeks afterwards because I have been, I'm going to assume if you made an October payment and a huge payment in November, you didn't just throw that money away, that you have intentions on continuing to pay it. You might be late every month because you're running a month behind or whatever the case may be, but if you just made a huge payment two weeks before, your intent is to pay the bill. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. and uh, Yeah. Makes no sense. Yeah. And it wasn't a huge payment. It was just a regular payment because the thing were The thing is, that's when we paid our payments. We paid our, we paid our bankruptcy payments at the end of the month, every month. Um, so we paid our payment. Well, it wasn't, it was um, like the last week of the month generally. It was our normal payment. We put, we made a normal payment in October. Well, we were not behind. Now, we were in bankruptcy for five years, I think it was. And throughout those five years, you're allowed three deferments. We used two. And each time we did, we got it approved through our attorney. We would go to our attorney and say, hey, we need a deferment for X, Y, Z. He would get it approved through the court because the judge has to sign off on it. And they did. We had two deferments that we, you're allowed three. We had two we used. Um, and we never got behind. So, uh it was just wild that the people just believed it. <clears throat> but even what she said, like one thing that she, she tried to say we were three months behind, but even what she said, we wasn't even, we wasn't behind because two weeks prior, we had made a huge payment. But I know when I worked at the finance company, we had what was called, um, like, um, oh God, it's been so long since I was there. Um, like, if we would, uh, like, 30, 60, 90, like, 30 days delinquent, 60 days delinquent, 90 days delinquent. And if you were in bankruptcy, we couldn't even call you. Like, we bankruptcy payments came in when they came in. We were not even allowed to attempt to collect on a bankruptcy payment. Like, not at all. Um, and literally, I remember we would get a bankruptcy payment, like, for people, like, once ever, like, six months or something and it wouldn't be the total of the bill it like say the bill was like 60 bucks it'd be like 23 you know what i'm saying yeah we have six kids and we still kept up, kept up with all the payments of our bills yeah it's 11 38 here so i'm not going to be much longer Um, it was just like, hey, Casey, newbie here. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'll tell you what it, what she claims it has to do with it. So, she claimed, okay, so back in, no, okay, back in November, me and Katie were really going at it pretty hard. We had this mutual friend, Matt Byer, and Matt was kind of play, play, playing both sides to the middle from what i come to know. He would tell me how he didn't like Katie. He would tell Katie how he didn't like me, apparently. So, like, one night I'm at home. The kids were in bed. I was about to go to bed, and Matt calls me. And he says, um... LB, check out KJ. She's on Twitter talking crap about, not Twitter. She's on Instagram talking crap about y'all. And the thing was, is on, on her YouTube channel, she didn't really talk crap about me. Um, but on, it was on Instagram all the time. She would go live on Instagram and would talk crap about me really bad. So, like, on my channel, when I would, like, bring up that, like, KJ's talking crap about me, a lot of her people would be like, no, she's not. No, she's not. And it would be like, because they didn't watch her Instagram. They just watched her YouTube. So they thought I was lying. But that's where she did most of her nastiness. But it was very smart. KJ's not a complete idiot. Because she paid for it. It was on Pacer. Um, yes. Matt Byer was a part of this. So, um, let 
Thank you, Secret Treasures. Yes, it was it was wild. I forgot where I was going. Okay, so um, he tell he calls me and and he's like, she's on Instagram talking crap about y'all, like lying about y'all. Go look. So I'm like, okay. So I get my phone and I turn it on, and sure enough, she's talking crap about me. And it just so happens, like seconds after I open it up, she starts saying, "I do have six kids. Thank you." She starts talking about how um. LB and her sister Flossie called Matt today after he came on my channel and was screaming at him for coming on my channel, wanting to know why was he coming on my channel. That's my friend, LB. I introduced him to y'all. How dare y'all yell at my friend? And I'm like watching this and I'm like, what? So then I need to record it because I'm like, I'm going to talk about this. I'm just going to go live and I'm about to call her out. And so... I get my son's phone. I get Michigan representing. Hey, Michigan. So I get my son's phone and I put it on the kitchen counter and I get the IG live up. And I get my phone and I'm recording it. And as she's saying all these things, I'm talking because I'm mad. She's like, y'all call Matt. I'm like, oh, no, we didn't. You know, we didn't. I'm like, what? No, we didn't. You know, and then she's like, I guess somebody in her comment section asked, who is, who is that? Who is LB? Or who is Leslie? Because. I was I went by Leslie back then. So they're like, who is Leslie? And she goes, um, or they're like, what what has Leslie done to you? And she's like, she says something along the lines of, Leslie is the one that started the rumor that I have bunch housing by proxy. And then she goes, wait, 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 wait. No, she didn't. She didn't start the rumor. She just helped perpetuate it. And I said, I said, because you do, because I was mad. I was mad. So here that she was literally about to lie to her people. And say that I started that rumor, but she knew she couldn't because up until that point, I had never said that she had much housing by proxy. All I had ever said was that two people that knew her prior said that she had much housing by proxy. <clears throat> you're a troll? <laughs> don't be a troll. Um, or be a good one if you're going to be a troll. I don't know. Be a nice troll. Um, wait, I got, yes, yes, I got them, I got them, um, I think you're behind in the chat, Karen, so, so anyways, I'm recording, and I said, when she said, she tried, she was going to lie to her people and tell them that I started that rumor, but she knew she couldn't, because there was absolutely, positively no evidence out there that I ever said it, and I, I would easily be able to prove this. I would easily be able to show the clip where all I said was two people that knew her, like personally knew her from back in the day. The reason they stopped being friends with her is because they thought she had it. That was all I had ever said. Once I said that, once I made that one comment, Katie put it out there that I was running with this narrative that she had it. But that was the first time that she was about to say, or that she did say, that I started that rumor. But she quickly was like, well, she didn't start the rumor, but she just helped perpetuate it. And I was like, because you do. And I'm recording, and I'm, like, mad. And then, um, like, she gets off the live, and I'm, like, furious. Because, first off, we had not called Matt screaming at him. Matt had told me, I don't know how many times, that he just couldn't stand Katie. He was never going on her channel again. She was such a liar. He would send me screenshots of her, like, talking crap about me. Um, he would send me screenshots about her, like, of her, like, trying to sell the Amber Portwood audio. Like, where she asked for, like, um... She asked for the, um, I was at, I know who that is, Sherry. She asked for, oh, like TMZ's number. She's like, you got to contact with TMZ because I want to get in touch with somebody to see if I can sell this, this Amber Portwood stuff, right? So, like, he told me about all that while she's on her, she's on her channel telling people, I had huge media outlets reaching out to me, offering me big money for this audio and this video, and I just wouldn't sell it to them because I don't feel right about it. When really, behind the scenes, you guys, she was seeking. She, they weren't coming to her. She was going to them, trying to sell it. Um, um, Casey, Sherry's asking because a while back, somebody, Sherry talked to someone that once followed Katie. So that's why she's asking, like, if you're that person. Because she talked to this person, and they, they used to follow Katie, and now they don't. And, um, they, they, like, contacted Sherry to, um, 
Um, so that's why she's asking, like, because that person said they were going to start watching me after they kind of realized who Katie was. <laughs> so that's why she's asking. Yes, Matt really did complicate everything. So, um, so Matt had been like, I'm never going on her channel again. Like, she's, you know, I remember one time he was even like, I was like, I'm so sick of this. Like, I'm so sick of her, like, lying to people and like, da, 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 da. And he was like, you need to tell her something. Like, you need to, you need to, you know. And I, Thank you, Rizzo's wife. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. He's like, you need to, like, just, like, tell everybody about her. And I'm like, no, because people's going to think I'm jealous. Like, if I do a video, like, going off, her, like, she's going to have people think, it, like, telling people I'm jealous. Her people's going to come comment on my channel talking about I'm jealous. And I, I no, I just don't want to do that. And he's like, LB, what do you, you know, what do you do if you find a snake on your porch? And I'm like, call Sean. He's like, no, you cut its head off. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically telling me, like, not to cut her head off. But you guys get the picture. So, anyways, when she says that, so, my, Matt was telling us that he was never going on her channel again. Earlier that day, he did go on her channel. When I seen it, I just thought, like, yeah, I thought you wasn't going to go on her channel. But I did not call him. I did not text him. A part of me felt like I was kind of seeing him for what he was. For him to constantly be talking about how he didn't like her and how he was never going to go on her channel. And then he went on her channel again. I was just like, so I was like, I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't care. You know, now Flossie texted him and was like, hey, thought you weren't going to go on her channel. She was not yelling at him. She was not cursing at him. It wasn't even a, a call. It was a text. Um, so it was not true that we like attacked him over going on her channel. I had not even talked to him. I had not talked to Matt, uh, like, since, like, the day before or something. Um, so, anyways, after after the live ends, I call Matt, and I'm like, what is this about? Why is she saying this? He's like, I swear, LB, I did not say that. I'm going to send you the messages between me and her. So, he does. He sends me the messages between him and her, and um, it, it, he didn't say that, like, the messages that I've seen, anyways. Um, he didn't say that we called him screaming, but more than likely, he could have very easily deleted messages to make it look the way that he wanted to. I still felt like, even when I seen the messages, like, yeah, right. Like, you obviously told him something. You know what I'm saying? So, um, anyways, I was like, you know what, Matt? I am going live tonight, and I'm telling everybody that I'm done with Katie. I'm telling... I'm telling everybody about how she lies, about how she tried to sell that Amber Portwood audio. And he's like, I'm doing it too. I'm going to go live with you. And I was like, I'm sick of it, Matt. And I'm like, if you want to be on her side, I don't care. If you want to be her friend, that's fine. I don't care, but I'm tired of it. And he's like, no, LB. I'm going to, you call me. I'm going to tell everybody tonight where I stand. I'm going to tell everybody that I am team LB and Flossie, that you guys are my friends, that y'all have never lied to me. Y'all have never done me wrong, but Katie has. I'm going to tell everybody. So, when you go live, you call me. I'm like, okay. All right. Will do. So, um, I couldn't go live for like an hour or something. I don't remember why. Like, I had stuff I had to do. Um, where is Matt nowadays? I don't know. But I think Flossie hears from him every once in a while. Um, So, anyways, um, well, just saying, these people came forward, and they had, like, valid reasons for why they said that. Like, they were in a Facebook page for moms with children with disabilities, and it was started by Katie. And by the end, like, months later, everybody was mad at Katie. She had called somebody's kid ugly through text messages to one of the other moms. To one of the other moms, she had called one of the kids ugly. And when she did, it obviously ticked that mom off. And she went to the other mom and was like, I have to tell you that our friend, the lady over our group, called your kid ugly. So, like, there was a lot of things. But I've never personally talked about her child. She likes to tell people that, first she told people that I picked on her child for being autistic. She didn't know that my child was autistic. Then she told people that I attacked her child. I've never attacked that boy. I feel like um, he's just an innocent, sweet little kid that doesn't deserve any bad anything. Like, he just deserved the best of everything. Um, but she's definitely told people that I've attacked her child. I, I would never. I would never. Because let me tell you guys, somebody attacked my child, that's fighting words. You know what I'm saying? What did, what did David Eason say? 
those are fighting words or something like that. I don't know. Um, but I would never do that. But the reason, like, they thought that is because, like, um, there was there was situations where, like, they was, like, if one kid got sick and put in the hospital the next day, like, it, and it was just, like, it always happened. It wasn't, like, a once-in-a-while thing. Like, she would say that something happened with him that was, like, ten times worse. Like, he was always the sickest in the group. It didn't matter if one kid was in the hospital, like, not doing well. Um, within, like, 24 hours, he was not doing well either, you know, and he was in the worse shape than the other kid that was sick. And they just said it happened every single time. So at first they thought that it was really happening, that he was really getting, you know, sicker than the other kid. Um, but then they felt like they caught on to it was just any time a kid got sick, he was sicker. And then it was um, uh, Katie um, had told one of the girls that he needed a wheelchair. And she was like, I literally, um, and this woman's son was in a wheelchair, right? So, um, when she said that, um, yeah, I don't think she has much as a proxy. I, um, I wouldn't, I don't think she's inflicting physical harm on him or causing his illness. Um, here, you know, the thing is, is if, if, if anybody would have said that about Gypsy uh, Blanchard, Blanche Rose, if any of the, the people that knew her would have been like, oh, I think maybe she got much. There would have been some people that would have been like, that would have been like, that's not okay to say. But there's people out there with it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that Katie has it. I don't think, I don't know enough about it to know. I don't think, I don't think she would ever hurt her child, ever. Um, but anyway, so she told one of the girls, like, oh, I think he needs a wheelchair. I'm going to try to give him a wheelchair. And she asked the girl, she was like, don't you think he needs a wheelchair? And the girl was like, no. And the girl said, like, I've seen him run and jump and play and just balls to the wall, energy bursting out the seams. And um, so I said, no, I don't think he did, you know. And that's when Katie quit being her friend when she said no. Hold on a second, you guys. Hello. Hey. Uh, nothing. What are you doing? No. Huh? All right, love you too, babe. Bye. Mm-hmm. It is. Thank you, Rizzo. That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, yeah, that is his name. So, anyways, that was a whole big old mess. I never said back when it first started. I never said that he that he that she had it. I just brought up because I was trying to explain to my audience which was back then, all of my audience was her audience as well. And they liked both of us back then. And they wanted us to get along. They wanted us to be friends. So I was trying to explain, like, you guys, it's just like, there's a bunch of things going on in the background that you guys don't know. And there's lies and blah, 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 blah. And like, people that know her have come out to say X, Y, Z. And she ran with that much as my proxy comment that I didn't even mean. And now I apologize to her for that. I did. I told her, I said, I'm sorry that I said that because I don't know enough about you to... to, to and I didn't say that you did have it. Now, on this particular night, where Matt called me and said she's live on Instagram and she's talking about you and Flossie, and I get on and I see that she's saying X, Y, Z, she went to lie on me and say that I started that rumor. And then she quickly said, well, she didn't start it. She, she helped perpetuate it. Out of anger, I just said, because you do, you know. And honestly, she could have said anything. LB has told people I'm a B-I-T-C-H, and I would have said, because you are. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just mad that... She was lying. Like, she was just so blatantly lying. So, I'm like, I'm talking about this. I am done. So, Matt's like, yeah, I'm done too. You call me. I'm going to let the world know where I stand. I'm like, all right, whatever. So, I get on this live stream. And I'm talking about what's happening. And I, I'm like, and Matt's like, go ahead and call me, LB. Go ahead and call me. Go ahead. I'm about to go to, go to bed. Go ahead and call me. I'm like, no, Matt, hold on. Because I want to play the video of what she said. I want to play the audio of where she's lying. And then I'll bring you up. And you can say your piece. And, um, so, okay, so Dre McRae's husband's name is Vaughn, but Katie's son has the same name. So, there's two Vaughns that, if you watch this whole, you know, two Vaughns. Um, so anyways, when I'm, like, trying to talk about everything, um, Matt's, like, trying to come up, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. So, I play the audio, and I forgot. 
So I played what was on my son's phone that I recorded, but I forgot that it recorded me saying, because you do, because that was a moment in anger. So I play it and, and I'm stopping and I'm commenting on it. And then it's like, she tells, she's the one that started the rumor that I had much house in my prostate. And then you hear me say, because you do. And I'm like, that was me in the background. Sorry, you guys. I said that when I was recording, I didn't mean like, I'm not even going to get started on that. That, just, that was said out of anger. And then Matt like calls me. He calls me because I I didn't have time to call him because I was trying to get everything like situated. So he calls me and I'm like, hey, Matt. And I'm like, so Matt, um, you know, you've been in the middle of this situation with me and Katie. Um, like, where do you stand? He's like, I'm just gonna let everybody know I'm team LB. And I'm like, Matt, I got a few questions. Have I ever lied to you? He was like, no. I was like, have I ever been shady? No. Have you ever, have I ever made you feel like I was being shady? No. I'm like, has Katie ever lied to you? Yes. Has Katie ever made you feel like she was being shady? Yes. Like, I'm like asking him all these questions. And he's like, yes, 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 yes. You know, with me, no, 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 no. Like, you've been a good friend to me. I haven't caught you lying. I don't know if you ever lied about anything. I don't know if you lied to your audience. But with Katie, I'm like, do you know about her lying to her audience? Yes, yes. Okay. I go kind of hard on Katie that night. That was like two nights before Thanksgiving or something. So, anyways... Thanksgiving happens. I get up that morning. Or no, it was the day before Thanksgiving. It was the day before Thanksgiving. The next day I get up. Um, and there is a post on Katie's community tab telling everyone to go report my video. And she don't say my name, but she says her. Yes, I know about her video. My friend Matt called and told me about it. We're good. Matt said that the only reason he, didn't want her, he went on her channel is because she kept blowing his phone up. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like... First off, he went on my channel because he called in. I didn't go. I didn't call him. I didn't even have time to. He kept calling me. Like she is. I know that's right. Um. So then she then she edited it. She edited that whole community post to where it didn't say she and it didn't talk about Matt. But I have both copies. I have the first one and and a lot of people saw that first one where she said her the whole Matt situation. Go report it. Um, she posted a couple times about reporting it. Um, it, yeah, I don't, I don't like to mess with people at all. Um, but sometimes I will respond, you know. So anyways, um, that was that morning. And I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving when I see the post. I take a screenshot of it. I'm like, whatever. I gotta do Thanksgiving with my family. Um, this is our first Thanksgiving without Abe because Abe has just passed away. Um, and then, or no, he hasn't passed away yet. I'm thinking about Christmas. I'm thinking about our first Christmas without Abe because that was a whole situation as well where Katie was attacking me. So Thanksgiving, Abe is actually in the hospital at this point. Go to Thanksgiving. Um, after Thanksgiving, we go to the Black Friday sale. Um, it starts Thursday evening here. And so, me and my mom and my sister, we leave Thanksgiving and we go to Walmart. And we get there at like 5. And I'm like in the lines waiting on like a cell phone or something, right? And or actually, when I'm getting out of the car, I go to post like a little video. Like, Happy Thanksgiving, everyone on my channel. And it would not post. It, it said that I wasn't allowed to upload anything due to community guidelines or copyright issues, right? So, I'm like, what is happening? I'm like, oh my God. My channel got reported. I'm down. Right? So, I make a few calls. Uh, I call. I was friends with a girl named Britters at the time. Um, I actually had to run back out of Walmart. Because when I wa was walking in Walmart, I'm trying to record the video. And I'm seeing that it's not recording. And I, and I don't know what's happening. And there's a lot going on. Because my mom was like, you go here. I'm going to go here. And Paris, you go there. And I'm like, okay. So, I'm in line at the cell phone thing. And that's when I realized why I can't go live. So, I run outside. I call Britters. I'm like, I can't go live. Like, my channel has been shut down. So, Britters calls Steve. By the time I get home, Steve is on a live stream. And um, he's on a live stream and he invites me on. And it's like right after I get home. Or actually, he's not on the live stream. He's about to go live. And the live stream is like, we're going to show Katie Joy that she can't shut us down. So, I get home right before he goes live. It's like me, Steve, and Flossie. And right before we, it's either right before we go live or right when we went live. He says, I'm going to give you all my super chats. Anything that I make in Super Chats, I'm going to give that to you, LB. And I'm like, you don't have to do that. And he's like, no, I want to. And I was like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. 
And, you know, normally when I, when I go live, like, I might get, like, $20, $30 in Super Chats. Maybe. Like, tonight I've got five. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes you, a little more. So, I'm like, we're going to go live, you know. Like, I really appreciate him doing that. Um, even if it's $5, like, that's just so nice of him to do that, you know. So, anyways, we go live. And he... He may, I don't, I think he told me before we went live, but it may have been like right when we went live. Either way, he does say it when we're live. Um, he does say it when we're live. He's like, um, hey, you guys, you guys know that LB's channel got shut down this morning. Katie made a post asking everyone to report it. So we're doing this stream to show KJ that she can't shut us off. Ah. Uh, yeah, she probably blocked you, Renee. Um, so, um, we do that live, and at this point, it had got to the point where a lot of people were starting to see Katie kind of for what she was. There was a lot of people that didn't like her anymore. So, that night, like, there was like $500 donated, something like that. Now, they hold taxes out, though. YouTube holds taxes out, okay? So... He did send, it was like 300 and, I don't remember the exact amount, but it was like $325 and a penny or $325 and 75 cents or something. I got it, I got it wrote down. I have everything, right? So, he sends me what was super chatted to him minus the taxes, you know. And, uh, that was not a, no way, I did not see that, just saying, I did not see that. That was not a fundraiser. It was not, it was literally like, like tomorrow when me and, or, or Tuesday when me and Wildflower go live, if, if when we're live, if I'm like, hey, Wildflower, I'm going to give you my super chats, and I give them to her, it would be like somebody saying, oh, LB had a fraudulent fundraiser when Wildflower was on her, no, that's not a fundraiser, because when you go live, you have the options to get super chats, it's just what it is, whatever you do with those super chats is what you, you want to do with them, so he decided to give them to me because of what was going on at that moment, right? And like he said, to show KJ that we can't be shut down. Now, KJ started denying that she mass flagged my channel, publicly denying it, but sometimes would slip up and say that she did. <laughs> it's so funny because I have so many clips of her admitting to it. So many clips of her admitting to it. Her channel, her, her, um, her story has changed like 10 times about what happened. At first, she said the video didn't go down for like 15 days. Then she said it went down the very next morning. There was two videos where I had done talk, kind of talking about the situation. She thought it was the other one. It wasn't. It was the second one. So that tells me that tells me there that she reported both of them. Um, when somebody asked, why did you mass flag her channel? She said, if somebody was lying on you, wouldn't you do the same? Or if somebody was accusing you of... No, she said, if somebody was accusing you of harming your son, wouldn't you report them as well so there, i have so many things of her literally admitting to do it but what she tried to say her and uni rock they tried to say that i got shut down for copyright strike which is not true what they did was they went and took certain videos that had got copyright claims and said look here this video was taken down for a copyright claim and they took three of them and acted like I got three. When in really, in reality, copyright strikes, community guideline strikes, copyright claims are all different. They're all different. Copyright claims do not affect your channel. Copyright strikes affect your channel. You get three copyright strikes and you're out. So the thing is, is when you do copyright strikes, they know if you get three, you lose your channel. And they was claiming I had three. If I would have had three, my channel would have been deleted altogether. And they know that. And I have video of Katie saying, if you get three copyright strikes, your channel is deleted forever. Because Janelle Eason tried to copyright strike uh, Katie four times one time. And she went live talking about it. She's like, she tried to strike me four times. And if that would have happened, my channel would have been deleted because it's three strikes and you're out. All the while. So Katie and Uni knows this. When Katie and Uni say all this crap about, I got three copyright strikes, they know that's not possible. Because they know that gets your channel deleted. They just don't want to admit that all this stuff that they've been spewing has been lies. And the videos that they put up, I have many videos that had copyright claims. Like, I have a ton of videos that got copyright claims. 
it doesn't affect your channel. What happens is when you get a claim, the company can either choose to block it so it doesn't play at all, or they take the revenue that you make off of it, right? So I had three videos that had that they went and found that had been blocked. And they said, this is copyright strike. It was not copyright strike. It was copyright claim that had been blocked. Yeah. Yeah, Katie said that it was because I was live showing MTV, which was not true at all. So, when we're on there telling people that Katie told people to mass flag my channel, and then it was shut down, and then Steve gives me the super chats, they start with this, she's lying on me, and they ran a fraudulent fundraiser, so let me figure out why she's lying. Katie literally tried to tell people. Hey, Robert. Sorry, B. I didn't get the live notification. Love the channel and mods. It's Monday, y'all. Six hours of being in the office. Fun. Hello, <laughs> night. I know. I need to get off. It's literally 12. I need to get off. But I just want to explain what happened. Thank you so much, Robert. Um, but, so she, what she said the other day when she was talking about it, she said, I wanted to figure out why she would lie and say that I'm trying to harm her channel and then do this fundraiser. Like, what would make her lie? So I started looking into her finances, and sure enough, she was in bankruptcy. Like, Katie, tell the whole truth. I've been in bankruptcy for three and a half years. I didn't just file. So I, the thing is, is financially at that moment, we were okay. It wasn't like we were, like, terribly broke. I mean, Sean had been laid off, but my channel was doing okay. Like, my channel was, like, keeping us afloat at that moment. Now, she struck it. So my channel got put down, so I was concerned. But it wasn't like, here's the thing. I didn't even really know Steve McRae that well. You guys put yourself in, in, in this position. You're on a public platform where your reputation is, is important. You know what I'm saying? Like, my reputation is important. Um, could you guys imagine? I knew Steve for like a month, maybe two. I, not long. Why would someone that has a public platform... So Katie tried to say that Steve knew, that Steve knew that, okay, that I was in bankruptcy behind and that Steve knew about the bankruptcy. So we concocted this plan to lie and say that Katie struck my channel, even though she admitted to stri striking it, even though, even though she had a community post saying, go report the channel, that we lied and put that on her so we can get donations because financially my bankruptcy wasn't getting paid. None of that is true. You guys, do you guys think I would risk my reputation by asking someone that I only knew for two months to lie for me and help me fraud? That's what's so wild when they try to say this with me and Molly and Justin. I'm like, me, Molly and Justin, I don't even know them that well. They don't know me that well. Do you guys think that we would concoct a plan to commit fraud together? And then the first time one of us get ticked off about the other one, they, we would have that on each other? That's ridiculous. Nobody... You know, if you're going to commit, if you're going to, like, do something big like that, you're not going to ask somebody that you barely know to do this with you. Because for, for one, what if they say no? What if they're like, uh, no? Then you got to worry about, oh, crap, is this person going to go run and tell everybody else that I wanted to fraud someone? You know? Or, or what if they say, yeah, but then you got to worry about, well, they have this on you now. You are stuck by, you know what I'm saying? Like, here's the thing. I'm not the type of person to do that anyways. But if I was that type of person to do something like that, it would have to be with somebody that I know really daggone good and well and that I trust. And one thing that I have learned in this YouTube world, you bear, you don't just trust anybody. You don't, it, you don't just trust anybody, okay? So there's no way, like, that I would be friends with somebody for a month or two and then jump into a fraud with them. So if you guys listen to Uni Rock and Katie talk about fraud and us committing fraud, Really put yourself in that position. Would you risk your job by going into a fraud situation with somebody that you didn't know? No, you wouldn't. Well, neither would I. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, she's like, I wanted to figure out why she was lying. Why she was lying about me. And sure enough, they were in bankruptcy. And we weren't just in bankruptcy. We were in bankruptcy for two months. I mean, three years. I don't know why I said two months. We, were, we had been in bankruptcy for like three years. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a new thing, and it was getting paid. Like, uh, so anyways, 
Yeah, he donated the Super Chats. It was not a fundraiser. Thank you, Casey. And even to this day, like the other day, Uni Rock was like, because Uni Rock is going on this thing where he's trying to make it out like me and Molly and Justin are committing fraud together. And he's like, oh, LB, she's got a history of committing fra fraudulent fundraisers. So I'm like, tell me one fundraiser I've done. One. I've never done one, not one fundraiser on my channel, ever. I've never done a fundraiser on my channel, ever. <laughs> you know, like, it, it's wild. Like, it, I mean, when the thing happened with my boys in the football and their, uh, their um, president of the league stole all the money, I told you guys about that. This happened years ago. I was telling everybody because I was just blown away. We had just found out that she had stole all the money. And I was, like, telling you guys, like, oh, my gosh, our, our – Ladies saw the money, like this is what's happening. And some, one of my followers who had been a follower of mine ever since the beginning was like, hey, if I send you money, can you get it to the league? And I was like, yeah, sure. That was not a front fundraiser. That was literally right at something right off the cuff that happened. And because I was telling, I, like when I told that story, it was not with the intent for people to donate. It was because I had just found out that our freaking football league president had been stealing all the money for the league. And we had games in like a week. We didn't have uniforms, and there was this big old situation. She took off. She was on the run. The cops were looking for her. It was a big thing. So I was, like, telling everybody because I was just blown away, and one of my longtime subscribers was like, hey, if I donate money to you, can you get it to them? And I was like, well, yeah, sure. And then, like, a handful of people sent money. It was like, hey, I want to help, too. And I, I wrote a check to the thing so I would have that proof that, like, I did pay this. I never showed anybody because I didn't feel like I needed to. Nobody asked for any proof, but I had to use that proof years later. When I, like the, the following year, when I finally spoke up and said, when, because Katie, Katie actually said that as well. Um, LB did a fraudulent fundraiser saying that her boys' football, uh, that, the, that the president of her boys' football league uh, stole all the money and took off. But sources tell me her boys don't even play football. When the person that told her that my boys don't play football knew for a fact that they played football. This was a person that I was once kind of friend, like friends with. And because I didn't do what they wanted me to do, they flipped on me. And then they ran to Katie and told Katie that my boys didn't play football. When they knew for a fact that my, my boys did play football. So then when I had to respond to all of this, I had to show the pictures of my boys playing football. Text messages between me and another person on the league. Like asking like what's going on with Crystal. Like, what happened? And she's like, girl, it's wild. And, you know, and uh, the report where Crystal did end up getting arrest, arrested for, for theft and forgery and all of that. And I hit her last name so I wouldn't, like, dox her or anything. And I, I had to take, show the check where I did write the check to the league. But it wasn't a fundraiser. That wasn't even a fundraiser. That was just, like, me explaining what happened and people being like, hey, I want to help. Here. In my opinion, like, something like that is not a fundraiser. Like, to me, a fundraiser was, like, you announcing, like, Hey guys, I'm gonna do a stream. It's gonna be a fundraiser, and we're gonna listen to music. Like Molly did a fundraiser the other day where she listened to Michael Jackson music, and like people donated. Like that's like more like a fundraiser to me. You know what I'm saying? It's not just like super chats. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, the ranch is a um, a moderator. And Denisa, um, yeah, we can do the giveaway tomorrow. Um, I, Denisa is going to sponsor a fifty dollar Amazon gift uh, card for a giveaway. I think tomorrow we'll do that on the Anne Hage video. Um, and then I had someone else reach out to me offering to do a second one. So we may have two $50 gift card giveaways that we're going to do in the next few days. Be, let them be miserable. They're jealous of you. You just keep doing what you do. Thank you, Robert. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, that's why she decided to look for my financials. And like I said, we were three years into this bankruptcy. It had nothing to do with anything. Like, it was our business. Um... Yeah, she did. And that's the thing. When people's like, when she tells people that I've talked about her kids, I'm like, she's talked about my kids. She's literally talked about my kids. She literally um, said that I needed to be worried about CPS. She basically said that I left drugs in my car where my kids could get to them and that CPS should be um, concerned, that I need to be worried about CPS showing up at my doorstep. And then one time I did a live where I was in my car and my son was in the car and we're in Walmart parking lot. And I was responding to, like, something that Katie said. And I was kind of hyped like I am now. Um, but I was not yelling. And then she's like, she was yelling and screaming with her poor son in the background. And he had to listen to that. And like, what? And then there was somebody that was in my chat the other day. And I'm, like, almost positive it was her that was talking about my daughter. Like, because I don't know anybody else that would be this, in, like, 
I, I don't know if anybody else would do this, and I also have a sneaky suspicion that she is on my private Facebook account um, under a sock account. And the reason I know I, it's got somebody is because um, there were things that I posted after my account went private that she got screenshots of. Thank you, Casey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, that's awful. Threat CPS. That's administrative. Yeah, she did. She after I was falsely arrested, which she announced to everyone. I didn't even have time to like tell certain people in my life that this had happened. Um, she basically said that I had left the drugs where my kids could get to them, and I should be concerned with CPS getting to my house, coming to my house. And um, so yeah. Um, newsflash: It was a false arrest that was dismissed, and I sued. So there. Um, but anyways, you guys, I gotta I gotta go ahead and get off. I've been on for two and a half hours and I had so much fun, you guys. Yeah, I just yeah, kids should be off limits. I mean, cause I'm that way, like you bring up my kids, I wanna take your head off. You know what I'm saying? And the one thing that I will say uh, anytime her son has come up is I just think he's adorable. Um now I did bring up the one thing that I I, I took issue with was the autism thing um because there was an article that she wrote back in 2017 saying that he didn't have it that he was this that he was misdiagnosed with it um and the reason why is because when i found katie she was always talking about her son with autism her son with autism you know and i was like oh my son you know he's autistic as well and um and then i then someone sends me the article that she wrote on patio saying that he was misdiagnosed and this article was in 2017 so it's two years later and she's still saying that he has it. So I was like, wait, do, like, why does she write this article saying that he was misdiagnosed? Because if he was and she's still saying he has it, I take issue with that because I have a son that's autistic. And you just don't do that anyways. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that article got around. It really did. It got around and um, she was asked about it. Uh, people asked her like, hey, why is there an article from 2017 where you said he was misdiagnosed? And she said, because he was. Her response was, well, he, he was misdiagnosed, but what he has uh, has a lot of the same symptoms as, you know, she just explained it and said that they kept this, they kept that diagnosis so because he would be on the same medication and um, stuff like that as he is now, and it would receive, like, the same therapy and stuff like that. And so they just kept that diagnosis rather than taking it off and having to put the other one on and change a bunch of things and, you know, so... Um, I've been listening to my earbuds for a while. I've had company all day for fantasy football draft, but I'm wondering why you stopped talking about B. Yeah, I just felt like um, it was like a little bit of a drama. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like he kind of played both ends to the middle. And, like, after that day when he called, like, he called and told me that she was on live talking about me, she was not talking about me concerning him yet. She was talking about me with other stuff. And then when I get on, right when I get on, within, like, two seconds, she starts saying, they called Matt yelling at him. And I'm like, wait, what, Matt? He's like, she's lying. She's lying. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. So, you know, he's like, I'm team you. I'm done with her. She lied. That's not what I told her. So he comes on my channel and he says all this about, yes, she's lied to me. Yes, I've seen her lie her to her audience. Yes, I've seen her be this way. No, I haven't seen you be that way, LB. No, you've never lied to me, LB. Uh. And then the next day, when I see her community post where she says, um, the only reason that Matt B got on her channel is because she wouldn't stop calling him, but me and him are fine. We just got off the phone. And I'm like, oh. <gasps> what? It's like he's just trying to keep everybody open. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as, like, I put the video out, I guess he, like, calls her and it's like, hey, so this is why I did it. Like, she just drove me crazy and I, I don't even know what to do no more. Like, and what's crazy is, like, after that, he messaged me saying that she's, he, he messaged me saying that Katie was about to drive him to a relapse. He messaged me after that saying she's about to drive me to relapse. And I was like, listen, don't do that. Nobody is worth your sobriety. Like, it doesn't matter what she's saying. Like, don't pay no mind to her, you know. Um, but I ended up just kind of having to separate myself from a lot of, like, the, the, the drama because I was not well. I had to take a break. You know, Abe passed away. I got arrested. Um, all that stuff was happening at once, and I was getting a lot of, like, the people that believed her, um, like, I got emails 
um, like saying some really na the day that I made the decision to back away for a little bit. Um, I was reading the comments that morning. It was like really like just mean comments. Um, I got an email telling me like I should be ashamed of myself. My kids are gonna grow up and hate me because I'm such a liar and a two face and and I was like I am done. I mean I was like considering quitting YouTube because I was just done, you know. Um, but I'm glad that I came back. Um, I'm glad that I came back because I, this is really, I have a passion for this, but what I don't have a passion for is like drama concerning it where you have all these people. That's the worst thing about YouTube. Somebody asked me the other day, like, what do you like about YouTube and what do you dislike about YouTube? Well, what I dislike about YouTube is you put yourself out there and then people will lie on you. Like Uni Rock and Katie completely lie on me. I mean, they don't assume things, but they lie on me. Like they know three copyright strikes, you're 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 deleted but they continue to push things because they know the people watching don't know they know the truth but they know the people watching don't know so they bank on the fact that you guys aren't knowledgeable to how youtube works you know what i'm saying look at me now look at me now i know right <laughs> oh thank you mandy thank you But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and close out. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I am in Louisiana. I'm in North Louisiana. Um, I'm going to, really quick, I'm going to watch over my Anne Hage video. i got so many links i got to post in the thing. And I'm going to see if I can go ahead and post it for my members tonight. So, members, if you're a Patreon channel member, in the next, like, 30 minutes, I should have it up for you guys. And then tomorrow, um, I'm going to set for it to premiere. And we can all watch it together, I think. I think that's what we'll do. Um, but you guys, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. I don't know if I'm going to leave this up because I feel like I talked a lot about a lot of things that I just don't know if it's going to cause problems and I really don't want problems. I like to be able to do these streams where I'm like completely honest with you guys about what's on my mind and answer questions. But I also do worry like, oh God, is it, is it going to cause me some problems because I spoke about this and I spoke about that and hopefully not, you know, um, either way. I love you guys. Thank you all for the gifts. Thank you all for everybody hanging out with me. Thank you for the super chat. You guys are awesome. And give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.